Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the December 10th meeting of the Web Board Selectmen. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance, Pledge of Allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We started tonight with a non-public session at 6.30 to discuss <coughs> a personnel issue. That leads us into public comment. No public comment? Okay then. We'll move on to any department head committee items. One, two. I do. Nope. Do I want you? No. You do? Yep. Oh. Quick one, I hope. So a year ago, almost to the date, um, we opened a PO for a new snowplow because we had two get damaged. And uh, we made it work through the winter by the time we got all this together and then winter ended. And uh, when we traded the new truck, I kind of forgot about PO being open over the summer to be honest with you. When we traded the new truck, or traded the old truck for the new truck, I kept an old the, the plow off the old truck and traded an old spare that was from down back. So I have a plow for that truck, um, the spare plow for that off that truck. So what I'm asking for is to be able to use that PO to put a plow on my 4500. Um, that truck came with a Boss V plow when it was bought when we put it together. And I guess it wore out or something. And I wasn't here when it happened, but they put a straight plow on it. And I have one on my pickup, and there's one on that truck. And they're terrible to do parking lots with. And that's what I do with that pickup and my pickup. Um, so actually, for $136 less, I can get a brand new Boss V plow from my local dealer down here to go on that truck. Doesn't really make any sense to go out to bid to different brands because only a boss fits on that. If you did a different kind of plow, you're going to have to completely re upfit the truck. Mm -hmm. It's been equipped to a boss, so all you got to do is plug the new controller into the dash. Same year, same everything, whole 19 yards. So, this is the quote from um, actually, it's the same company that built the truck, um, Danny Bovier down here in Riverdale. He does all our service work on them. <coughs> This was the quote, I'll hand this to you guys, but this was the quote for the Tenco plow, which is the big truck plow. And uh, purchase order and the minutes of when, on November 20th, of when it was awarded to be able to get the Tenco snow plow. So, um, I would like to eventually get one for my pickup, but. Uh, with that. So the original, let me flip one page, uh, the original PO was for $7,436 and $7,300 is what, it's actually $100 cheap. So it's about two weeks out, he said. So there's no rewire, nothing. So. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> if we, um, Purchases plow, mm -hmm. um, and what is the projected if everything goes well in the next year's uh, town meetings? What is the projected um, timeline on the vehicle that's being put on? That one I'm going to try to trade next year, but I would plan to equip the new truck with with a boss. Yeah, because when it's on it, the plow it's on it's only two years old, okay. and last year it didn't do a lot because it was broke down half the winter. So okay. I mean, I guess we'd have to send that out to bid, and that would be, I suppose, the chance to take. I guess. Okay. I just, I'm just thinking the the law. I mean, and then is that something that can go on one of the other 4500s? Can they be interchanged or? No, but it could my pickup potentially. Okay, it it's just be. a little big, be heavy on my pickup. Okay, okay, um, yeah, because it's kind of meant for the 45, 50. Yeah, it's a 10 foot. If I ever come in and ask you for one for mine, it'd probably be yeah, an eight I, two or something. Okay, but it's still the same hookup, same controller, and everything. So. Okay. Because that P1 that I want to, you know, trade next year if all goes well, 
there's some things on it that's still usable. That old Fisher sander that's a stainless sander, I keep that. Yeah. Um, the toolbox and stuff on it. So mm -hmm. I don't know why we couldn't really strip it almost. Yeah, reutilize it. So yeah. it wouldn't you really have to go out to bid. You could re upfit with the equipment that's on it. You right. know what I mean? Right. Push frame isn't bent or nothing. Okay. Yeah, because one's got a, a, a power angle. Yeah, that's foil, Tom's right? truck. Yeah, that's okay. all set up Tenco, dump body and everything. So that's a different animal. Okay. But another vehicle we could set up, just take equipment off that. No reason I couldn't, especially if it's one year old. Okay. Be more than happy to, actually. Okay. okay. So, anyway, the only question I have is is that okay that because it was awarded to Tenco? A you don't have to make a new motion. Okay. It's within your spending. Um, you know, what I mean, it's less than okay. your spending. Right. Anyway. So would the so would that one have to be rescinded? <coughs> would this one have to be rescinded? Yeah, by you could just change the uh, okay. the vendor. Okay. In the amount if you wanted to. Feelings? I don't have any issues with it. Okay. No? Okay. I mean, like Benji says, a V plow for plowing packing lots is just the way to go. Oh, absolutely. Not not a, some sort of scoop plow. And the, the, scoopy. They make one. Well, they make one kind of like a, a snow pusher, but they're very expensive. Mm -hmm. They're much more than that. So. Right. You know, you get eight, ten inches. You chase the safety complex, this place, and the library. You chase the same snowflake three times, where you get it all over. Mm -hmm. you know, so. All right, our only ten motion. I'll make a motion that we. Uh, well, under the, do we have to resend that motion? I think you could just um, change the motion from eleven twenty based on new information. <coughs> and you're going to change the vendor in the amount. All right, I make a motion that uh, based on the eleven twenty motion so to buy a plow off Tenco. Due to new information and whatnot that's come through from the DPW, that we award the plow to DL Bovier. Uh, Don, Bovier Danny Bovier. DL yeah. Bovier. <laughs> for a yeah. Boss V plow to fit on the 4500, which would be $136 or less. Is there a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It says two weeks out. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I'll tell him tomorrow. Okay. That's it? That's it. Unless you want to have any questions for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we will go into the 2019 entire budget discussion. Weekend and look over things. Support? No. I was sick all weekend. Okay. So I think the opportunity tonight was now that you've seen it from top to bottom in in sections. Now what you have in front of you that composes of 16 pages. Um, what it looks like all together. I'm just going to flip maybe to the back page. Um, the 2018 approved, which was a default budget, six million thirty thousand dollars. Twenty nines proposed is the six million two ninety six seven ninety four, which represents, as you can see to the right, a two hundred and sixty six thousand three hundred eighty dollar increase. So. Um, 
I didn't do the percentage. Do you know the math? Do you know what the percentage is? 4.42. 4.1? Uh, it's on that summary sheet. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I didn't print my name either. Sorry. 4.42. Yeah. That's the increase. Okay. So top to bottom from 2018 to 2019 was sitting in front of you with all is 4.42% increase. And there are some things that you can look at. Um, I don't think we need to go all 633 lines one at a time. I think that this is just my thought. Um, if there had some things that stuck out to you during the presentation that you want to go back to um, and discuss, I think that's maybe the right way of looking at it. Um, the operating, the amount that Beth provided you with 4.42 kind of gave, I'll call it top to bottom, um, increases. Obviously, the three larger departments are the three top ones. Um, and then you've got, you know, transfer station runs next, selectman's office runs next, assessing. But um, keep in mind that those numbers that are in the proposed budget include contracts that were signed in the end of 17 that you've had. Trash contracts, so the movie trash assessing, you have to have assessing. Um, <coughs> we can talk about employment contracts, but we talked about those last year, you know. Um, so I don't know where you want to start. I'm just trying to keep it moving. <coughs> just trying to find more. Right. Now, just I need to say, though, this is the operating budget only right now. We Correct. Done this is no warrant articles. Right. right. And it doesn't have any of the proposed positions in it either, correct? No, for anybody? More correct, yes. Okay. All right. I think we'll start with the department, just right from the top. Any questions on the officer salaries? None. None? Okay. Town officers. The reduction is six hundred and seventy two dollars under the total column. Any questions? Any questions? Tax collector. I'm sorry, elections. elections. Let's go back to elections. <laughs> reduction at fifty three seventy five due to the decrease in elections. That one does fluctuate year to year as elections um, go up and down. Any questions on elections? Okay. Tax collector's office. Reduction at twelve hundred and forty dollars. Any questions? Negative. Assessing. This is where you're gonna find the increase, which is largely line seventy five. Correct. This is the second year of the five year contract, and that increase by itself is fourteen thousand five ninety four. The second thing I'm just going to pick out, which actually is over, if you add the two together, was the employee had a change of situation in home life or personal and needed to take the insurance versus the buyout now. Right. So that's why the increase enroll, enrolled. And so that's the two increases there um, are largely what takes up that increase. Any questions from the board? Oh, I just have one. The Avatar contract. Yeah. yeah. That's due to um, that was all passed on, right? When Judy. Uh, no, Avatar is the one that we do all the assessing. Yeah. Right. And they're the ones that come in and um, do the reevaluation every five years. And what we have to do is we level fund across the board for five years, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that you don't have that huge strike. Yeah. Okay. Um, what you did was when Judy left. Everybody took advantage of that, and you have one person doing 70 hours worth of work. 
Oh, I thought that Avatar was doing the additions. They some of it, but yeah, Wendy okay. still does a tremendous amount by okay. herself. Because you, know? you remember, there was two people in that office. Mm -hmm. There was a 40 and a 30, and now there's a, a 140. Mm -hmm. 70. Correct. All right. Any questions from the board on assessing? Finance committee? <coughs> okay. Legal expenses. I know that we... Track record wise, the, the proposed increase track record shows legal fees has been higher than the 20000 has been approved, and that's why we um, pushed that 10000 higher. Will it cover it? Probably not, but we got to get closer to closing that window. Any questions from the board? Questions from the Finance Committee? Okay. Finance Administrator's Office is down $306. Any questions from the Finance Committee? The board selection. Okay, town clerk. That is down one thousand sixty-five dollars. Any questions from the board? Finance committee. Okay. <coughs> Selectman's office. Okay. Huh? Ready to fill it out? Yep. Yeah, good. Okay. The uh, increase is nineteen thousand seven hundred seventy-two dollars. You can look up at line one thirty-five, which is my contract. Um, my contract stays the same. There is no increase. It's the same as last year's contract, but it's the same amount. Um, also, um, we have to find $8,163 for the secretary because the secretary was split 2020. We offered um, a position to um, Benji as his own person for <coughs> 20 hours a week. This person is still full time. Um, we have picked up some of the difference with the um, employee doing welfare, but we're still short by half of the position, or I should say, um, we're still short about $8,000. Um, this person was full-time and is full-time, but um, the funding is not there. Okay. <coughs> the two of those, again, add up, but there's some decreases along the way, too, to make the net. Of 1972. Mm -hmm. yeah, any questions from the board selectmen? Finance committee. Okay. We'll go to the cable committee. Decrease of $308 overall. And I think that that is track record shows. And that's why there's a decrease. Questions from the selectmen? Mm -hmm. Finance committee members? Yeah. Trustees of trust funds? This year, um, we had interest in the new trustees to go to the NHMA training, mm -hmm. largely because NHMA, um, with the departure of Terry Knowles retiring, they are not going to host training at the AG's office like they used to. So they felt that this year would be a place that they um, were going to do it. And the annual NHMA conference in November you're probably going to see a part of that continue to be part of trustees training. Okay. Um, therefore, um, two out of the three members went there, so we sent them, but they're, they'd like to continue to go if that's their only avenue for training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is up $135 to cover that. Any questions from the selectmen? Questions of the Finance Committee? Okay. Over land use. That is up $579. Looks like 312 of it is taken up by the well, it's to do with the town raise. Was correct. Was increased at yep. town meeting. And we're having some and equipment then issues. A, um, he's having an issue with uh, okay. some piece of equipment, whether it be a printer or whatever. Okay. Questions from the board selectmen? Finance committee? Okay. Go to the government buildings. This one is up $8,364. Um, a lot of it has to do with the fuel. Yeah, the fuel cost. Fuel cost it's drives a lot of that, up. unfortunately. Um, you had an increase in the lawn care to provide the ac adequate care for the lawns that we have. Correct. Um, we mm -hmm. lack a lot of maintenance in the well field area. Mm -hmm. We build them, but we don't like to maintain them at sometimes. And I think it's appropriate to have them maintained. They've looked as good as they've ever looked. Mm -hmm. um, we're using the same vendor as we had same years vendor. past. Um, 
-hmm. Also, there's been a um, the increase. Um, you know, every year, I think you've used the phrase, you kick the can down the road on the buildings. Um, it's not going to not going to stop. So there's another eleven hundred fifty dollars in there. Um, keep in mind, though, this is the first year that this operating budget here has encompassed all of the buildings correct heat and electricity correct so we're trying to iron out you see the plus and minuses we're trying to smooth out to figure out exactly where everyone is right so um, and then the radio sites that we all have electrified now that's new. <laughs> that's a brand new right we still have to pay the electricity to electrify the those sites but right. there wasn't any budget. <coughs> all right and that and those radio site upgrades were town voted yep. so Right. And the project's done now. Thankfully. Okay. Any questions from the board selectmen on the government buildings? Finance committee? Okay. Cemeteries up $2,800. Mostly due um. to um, the lawn contract, um, lawn care contract of $3,000 this year. Any questions from the Board of Selectmen? Finance Committee? Okay. Insurances? Those are the numbers that we were given to provide for finance okay. for the upcoming year. Yeah. So, the insurance... Actually, the insurance um, went up. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, the workman's comp went up. General liability went down. Mm -hmm. um, so, up and down still came up at 31994 Um Reduction. Questions by the Board of Selectmen? Okay. Questions by the Finance Committee? Good. Advertising? Oh, question. Oh, on? Mm -hmm. Line uh, 226, liability. Yep. Is that a year to year contract or is that a long term contract like the assessing contract? Believe year to Well, we have a five year look back. Correct. And I'm not sure. It's based on the last five years of your experience is how you break it. But is the town legally liable next year to buy insurance from these guys at a price that's either set or to be set according to a formula? Or if you wanted to, could you say we don't want this to do business with this company, we could go to someone else? You, you can there? you you have that option of doing that. I'm just going to caution you that with that track record, you probably won't find it any cheaper than that. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, but that sounds as though it is not a long-term contract. It sounds as though it's a year-by-year -year contract. I think we signed something for five years at a time. We signed some, uh, and I could find it for you, Neil. There's something we signed for five years at a time. If if it's a five-year contract and it goes down then the decrease needs to be reflected in the fault the fault budget. We had that conversation last year with you and you thought differently. Yeah, you, you told me differently you told last year. On a five year contract, on a multi year contract. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, not, it's, it's not it's not it's not fixed. Us. It's not fixed, right. We'll, thank you. Okay. okay. And I'll find the right term, maybe it's not contract, yeah. All right, advertising up six sixty three. And the purchasing policy drove that? Okay. Okay. That's fine. Any questions from the board? Finance committee? Okay. This one's going to have no questions either, I don't think. <laughs> Police department. Page six. Is there anything for the police department on page six? Board of Selectmen? Finance Committee. Lori, can you come up to the mic, though, please? Nobody's raised a hand yet. Six pages in. So I should just sit back like Neil does. <laughs> oh, that's Lori. right. Yeah, I should have had Neil come up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Lori Davis, Finance Committee. Uh, line 241, police part-time secretary wages. The last two years we have expended nothing. It was budgeted for $6,591 for 2018. Again, we have expended nothing, and yet we have it proposed. We're looking at a 4% increase. Could we not do this? Is Do we need this 
I'm looking for an explanation, please. Okay. I'll, I'll recognize the police chief. Frankly, I'm not sure how to answer because that's a position that is in the CBA. So it's um, how it would be funded or whether it had to be funded, I'm not sure. We yeah. have to seek legal guidance on that. As, as far as what the CBA because, because guidelines right. are. Right. So. Anything else on page six, lines 238 to 246? Board? Finance Committee? Okay, page seven. I do have one question. On? On the increase. Line? In the, uh, line uh, 245 in the military, mm -hmm. callbacks, training, and court appearances. Does the military. Don't they reimburse the dis difference to the department? Or we have to, I'm sorry, oh, we have sir, to can you say that difference. again, please? Okay. What's I, that? I didn't hear what you said. Under the one that says uh, police overtime and has military callbacks, doesn't the military pay that? that is, should that be on that line for that? It's to no, 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 cover, that's cover to the place an officer that would have cover left the overtime. military. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. 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 For other officers while they're gone, right. while others are gone. Yeah. Okay, page seven. There's a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> yes. I have a question. Line 262. Police training. Inclusion of RWU and mid manager X2. Yes. RWU is Roger Williams University. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they are the. Uh, um, in Rhode Island, uh, you know, for the lack of a better term, the, the vendor that we've been using for the yep. the, uh, the management training for succession <coughs> and so forth, and then uh, the mid managers, uh, the next step for um, uh, Sergeant Frisbee and Sergeant McGuire. So that's why the, the X two okay. was times two. Board have anything else on page seven? Okay. I know I do. Page 260, I'm sorry, page, <laughs> line 260. I feel that $3,000 expenditure should be moved into, or it should be removed, and that should come from the building, government building maintenance fund. That's my own opinion. Board? 260. It's, it's, it, they're one-time <laughs> modifications of the building. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, so why is that line in there at all then? There was a request. There was well, the, I mean, the whole the line police building maintenance. Because he has some things that he that he's needs. responsible for. Oh. Right inside okay. the building. Yeah. Right, but I think that those two right the there should be. Was due to the <coughs> right. So I think that was, that should be removed and and utilized from the government buildings fund. So remove the three thousand. Yeah, remove the three thousand dollar increase. So the line the line would stay seven thousand dollars. That work for you, Chief? As long as long as you get the, the end. <coughs> as long as the work gets done, I don't care how it gets paid for, Frank. Okay. Okay. That's kind of what I figured, but I figured I'd, I'd ask. So, Ricky, you're not moving at the government buildings? You're no. It's going to come from that. Right. Chief, 281. 281? Yes. $5,600 increase for ammo, shotguns, and taser? Yeah, yes, sir. Um, there's, uh, uh, right now, we have no firearms to issue to uh, part-time officers, no tasers to issue to part-time officers. Um, if, if either of those weapon systems uh, you know, during the ordinary day-to-day -day business of the police department were to fail, um, you know, 
come into disrepair or whatever, we have no replacement. So uh, the coffers are bare, so to speak. So the increase there is um, for three pieces of equipment. Um, two would be issued for part-time police officers and one would be spare. Okay. So it's not just shotguns, Chief, it would be handguns instead of just That's correct. The, the, okay. the, line, the line does also include, um, thank you for asking, Mr. Meany. Uh, the DELT line also does include the addition of two less lethal shotguns uh, to give us, uh, a, a, well, by very definition, a less, le less lethal option uh, should the horrific occur. Yes, Finance Committee. Um, yes. Uh, uh, Donna, can, Donna, can you come up to the mic, please? Yeah. Sure. I just have a quick question for line 282. I'd just like to know if there's any update on the SRO at all. Okay. Chief? Uh, somewhat tongue-in-cheek that's going to be dependent on tonight um, but but I've had uh, discussions with um, uh, both the John Stark school board and the Ware school boards and um, my perception is and that's all it is at this point they I believe they still have uh, some work to do on their own budgets but my perception is is that it was well received but that's looking through the lens of positivity. I'm hoping that this gets done. Okay. Um, line 286, the one-time purchase line, is up $21,534. And it says tasers, glocks, body-worn cameras, uh, re repeater. Um, that sounded like that was going to come out of 281. Yeah, let me let me take a quick look. I have some notes here. I can. Okay. I mean, I know there's lockers in there too, which probably. Yeah, take I may be mixing. Uh, bigger piece of the pie. 741. We did. Good fair amount. 281. That would be one point. Uh, uh, Mr. Selectman, I'm going to have to get back to you because my notes don't reflect this at all, like this. When okay. Sean came before you the first time, you asked to move those to the one-time purchase line? So, in other words, like the ammo, shotguns? They used to be... What's up on... I have that sheet right here. Yeah. It used to be in his budget for the part-timers. Okay. But, um, you asked as they were going to be one-time purchases to be moved to the one-time line. Okay. All right, yeah, because I, I see that now in my notes that the repeater was going to be a John Stark for the inside mm -hmm. yep. um, to yeah. improve communications. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. The... Um, that's okay. That's what the OTP means. All right, I couldn't figure out what I wrote. OTP. Um, yeah, three three new radios, two for the part time, one for replacement, um, and then two two lockers at eight eighty six a piece. Okay, and filing cabinets for twelve sixty eight, which makes that yep. number. There we go. Now I know what OTP stands for. <laughs> hey, when I can't read my own notes. <laughs> Okay. All right, so that was all that piled in there. Two point two officers. Anything else from the finance committee on page seven? Neil. <coughs> Neil Kirk, Finance Committee, line sixty two sixty two. I didn't understand the explanation for succession planning. Does this mean, in some way, that um, we're training people? from within to take over the department when the chief leaves? 
or is this something else? It says mid-manager. I wonder if the chief could give a further explanation. Um, in, in essence, uh, what we're doing is uh, providing our first-line supervisors with advanced training uh, to enhance their ability to um, make decisions. Um, es essentially, uh, they're, they're um, being tasked with, uh, in, the, in, in my absence, um, risk management of, of the, one of the highest liability departments in the town. Um, and I, I need to make sure that they've got the uh, the foundation from which to make these decisions. Um, this the mid manager school is a building block from the first line su supervisor school that they went to in 2018, and is, uh, um, for lack of a better term, the obvious next step in in the preparation of the, of their uh, uh, career development. Can I answer your question, Neil? You, you look not puzzled. Being trained to take over for the chief's position so that he would not go outside to look for a chief. Is that correct? Uh, I'm training them to be the best possible um, uh, ranking police officer that we can um, w that we can here in the town of Ware. Uh, the decision about whether or not they they make the next rank or um, become the uh, chief of police down the road is not part of this process. This is this is this is today's fulfilling today's need. Uh, the the chief of police decision is is yours. Larry. Lori Davis, Finance Committee, sticking on that same line, I would like more clarification, please. I know we have a total of 11 people in our police department. One is the chief. So now what I'm asking for more clarification on this line, who exactly are we looking to send to this and at what level? Are we trying to have multiple sergeants? Are we trying to have lieutenants? What exactly is the level of the different people and where are we going with them? I think may, maybe maybe um, some of the confusion may come from uh, mid manager. That's that that is the title of the, of the class. It's it's not uh, it's not um, uh, my intent by by writing it here to suggest that there's going to be you know now now two more mid managers. That's that's merely the title of the class. Um, um, staffing. At whatever level, uh, a after this this year, will be your decision with uh, the new chief of police. Um, so, but again, I, I go back to uh, the the people that we have here. We need to train to the best of our ability uh, for them in, in order for them to serve this community to the best of theirs. And this is used across across the department, though it's not just. That's correct. That okay. that, that line. Um, that's the reason for the increase. The reason yeah, for the increase is, is, right. is providing that one class, but before, that's correct. Which is the two sergeants, Frisbee and McGuire, to go to this mid mill. That's and correct. That's the increase. Right. There's still money there for the rest of the department to have training. Correct. <laughs> I'm looking for multiple sergeants. No, they're the same. No, they are. They are. They are. They are sergeants. They are sergeants. They are sergeants. They are sergeants. So they're getting trained getting to become better. Training. Advanced training. Thank you. Yes. Become yeah, become better at their job. Advanced training. Okay. Thank right. You. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Page seven, selectmen or finance committee. Okay. Page eight, police department. Any questions from the board? Yeah, 289. Yep. <laughs> what a shock. What a shock. <laughs> it, it does not, police cruiser does not belong in operating budget. That needs to go on a warrant article. 
and, and that's that's fine with me. Yeah. Um, I, I I have proposed it in the the uh, the budget each of the years that I've prepared a right. budget for you, with with the idea that um, if for nothing else, it stimulates the conversation about uh, the critical need for us to have uh, a, a, an investment. Um, and, and uh, protecting uh, our investment rather than as we discovered um, when we f when we well, I shouldn't say we when you approved the purchase of, of uh, three police c cruisers two years ago you know we had spent the almost a quarter of a million dollars in the preceding ten years on repairs that does that seems to me to be a, uh, a poor way to spend our money um, so if if uh, if uh, me putting that in the in the operating budget stimulates that conversation, admittedly, I, I would I would be thrilled to death to have it in in the operating budget so that this was an automatic purchase every year, uh, so that we have a flat line over time with uh, the, the fleet. Um, that would be great. But uh, um, as as we have said each of the last three or four years. Uh, it belongs in the warrant, and that's fine with me. Um, it, t taking that out of the out of the operating budget is fine with me. Okay. That's a that's a decision for you folks to make. Okay. okay. Thank you, Chief. <coughs> What's the board's take on that? Do we want to remove it? I think remove it. Because I it's believe it's going to affect the bottom. It's uh, a warrant line, article. The increase will change. Okay. It is not new to some towns, though. No, it's it's not. It's other towns do do it as a as a um, as a as a budget item. Um, but, you know, my opinion is, if you're going to put a police cruiser in the police department year by year by year by year, you need to put two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in the Benji's operating budget for a truck every year. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I think they both belong in the Warren article. So no, I I agree. Yeah. Half a million. <laughs> <laughs> Not that Benji would mind that, probably. <laughs> 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 That's how we're gonna play. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. gonna move it out. Yeah, we're gonna remove it out from the from there. Yeah, that'll change that total to one eighty two. So. Yep. And reflect the proposed well, budget as one five eight nine. You only took out the three thousand two. What? You take it out yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was a so it should be ninety six one eighty two. Had the percentage. Thanks, Beth. I, I crammed all those numbers for nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, emergency management. Questions from the board of selectmen? Finance committee? $17 increase to town vote. Okay, fire department. Page eight, fire department. Does the board have any questions? Yep, line 308. The account number because I don't have the whole budget. Uh, 150. 150. 150. Okay. Yep. 150. You're proposing thirty thousand dollar increase to your operating budget for standby pay. Correct. My feeling, my personal feeling, is for the first year that needs to go through a warrant article, mm -hmm. and then if it passes, it'll come to your budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. I'll go along with that. So regardless, the taxpayer is still making the decision. Right. It's right. Okay. Board's feeling on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll do then. So the. So I'll bring language forward on that? Yeah. Okay. That'd work. So the actual line 150 will be an increase of 499 Yes. Yeah. Offer more standby pay for the part timers. Is that what it is? Hey, correct. Yeah. That's to increase the standby pay for the part time. Yep. For the call force overnight. Call force. Yeah. 
it, it's um, really dealing with that time it, period between yeah. 10 it's and good. 7. Like you brought it before. Um, my only concern is if it doesn't pass so in the warrant article, then we're going to get stuck. Well, it's still a no means no. Yeah. yeah. But for the one year. So yeah, are we, we we're taking the 30000 out. What about this 30499 Because there's two increases here. Right. No, the raise for town vote you can't do anything about. Yeah. Oh, right. And that's four ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. I mean, I I I have to agree with, with uh, Selectman Osborne that I think that, that that should go to a that should go should one go article. Yeah. 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 I mean, you are providing. You're using the same people, but you're providing a mm -hmm. more of a paid service type thing. Mm -hmm. But it was, if I remember right, wasn't it for? Trying to get somebody between 10 and yeah, 10 p.m. and yeah, 7 so a.m. to call, then you don't worry about it. But mm -hmm. right. to get somebody to come to your house between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. 7 a.m. I'll text you. <laughs> yeah. Drag me into golf town. No. no, I'm just saying. I think that wasn't that the that driving factor. Because yeah. we do have a lot of calls between 10 and 7, and to get people to come out. Yeah. So the. Is, I mean, <coughs> you could easily ignore your page, I guess. Yeah. I think that we have. The, I remember. Right, being fired. Let me know how much time you got, because we can talk about it for <coughs> um, a while. One of the issues that we have, because um, we have, and as someone asked me the other day, um, we have no full-time employees, and and we we pay people to be paid on premises, right? So that per diem folks that we've called before. Um, we do from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. currently. Um, that covers about just over half of our incidents um, from the 7 to 5, sorry, so 7 to 5. And then 5 to 10 is about 27%. And then the other 21% of our calls happen where we don't have anyone sitting in the fire station. Um, our call volume has increased to the point where it isn't necessarily I wonder if I'll have a call tonight on my night. It is, um, you know, gee, I hope I don't have a call on my night. And uh, so it, it's it's easy to say, well, you know, this we're not talking about huge numbers. You know, it's about 200 calls a, a year. Um, but, but those are the ones where we're very, very slim um, with who's available. And, and the longer it goes into the night, the less people we have available that, that can do that. And so <clears throat> in recognizing that um, it isn't necessarily a, um, you know, a happenstance that you might, you might be needed to, to go out and provide service, um, it's really something that you know, it most likely is going to happen. And, and I feel that our people should be compensated to be available, not unlike um, you know, DPW, they have all, con all call on call pay for winter storms. Um, you know, it, it's not, I understand what you're saying about where it should be for that initial year. Um, and if that's what your wish is, we'll, we'll draft a warrant article and do that. And it'll come back in that's here anyways, yep. if it gets approved. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, uh. um, and that's really, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to salvage um, the system that we have for as long as we, we can. Um, knowing full well that, you know, we're, we're one or two critical people away from that whole thing unraveling and, and forcing us into a different staffing model than we're in now. Um, we do have a plan. We talked about it when I was here for budget. Um, be glad to talk to anyone about it. We'll and be in discussions with finance about it, of starting to um, to to do something on a staffing level that gets us to where um, we have full time people over the next four or five years, in in eliminating that per diem piece that we're we're operating in, and and have a allow us to do 24-hour coverage, um, allow us to control our employees a little bit better um, so we're more efficient in how we manage that, that program. So um, it, it's one of those things that it's, it's the future, it's coming, um, and we need to start planning for it. So it, it's all, they're all tied together. There's, there's many issues that overlap and 
kind of that Venn diagram looking thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, while we're while you get at the mic, uh, page eight. It would be our line 309. Uh, account number, sorry. Yeah, account number 151. Oh, 151. I was, yep. I was coming up with that. <coughs> I just want to expand a little on the explanation that you put. It's 365 days, 15 hours a day, two people at 17 an hour. Is that's yep. because we have the higher provider levels, correct? Yes. So um, as we have kind of move through time so originally back in 2010 the the, the pay scale was was set um, I think it was 13 15 and 17 depending on what the skill set was um, in a couple years ago they they moved into the operating budget um, and so we've seen them because of their tenure that their rates have Go increased ahead. And so what we had used as 16 as kind of that middle piece, what we found was is that our actual experience was more like 17 an hour. And so it's to, um, it just shows the math of how we got to that number. Which is, which is honestly reflective that we have a higher level of providers there yep. for longer hours. Yes, um, so we are certainly Monday through Friday and um, in half of the weekend days we're at the paramedic level for the day shift. Um, I'd say that would some 95% um, certainty on that. And then uh, we also have advanced EMTs which make more money than EMTs. Uh, and so we typically, I would say, between the medics and the advanced EMTs, we're probably 90, probably 90 percent of the covered time is we're operating at that higher level of service. Um, those people make more money. And paramedic and, and is so the, that paramedic is the highest level of EMS provider there is, correct? Right. We may not necessarily know. <clears throat> unlike building a salary schedule for say the police or a, a department that had full-time people that we could say oh you know Rick Hippler works 2,080 hours this year and we could do the math um, we have to kind of plan for well we're most likely going to have a, a medic in that slot for the day or for that you know those number of days a year and so it's kind of it, it's not as easy as building a salary schedule for full-time people mm -hmm. that you know who they are so it's kind of Okay. You know, looking at our experience of, of what the skill set is that we get in those slots. Okay. That's my question. Anything else from the board on page eight for the fire department? Finance committee, page eight. Neil? Should I sit? Uh, Neil Kirk, Finance Committee. I, I understand that the Board of Fire Wards uh, authorized a one dollar per hour increase for certain firefighters. Is that reflected in here, and if so, where? Oh, that's correct, and, that, and that's reflected in the um, line 150. For, I don't know what number that is. For 308 for 308. The, the chart. But that's encompassed in that. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Is that, that part of the 30,000? No. 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 Is that the 499? The 30, 000, 000. No, that's included in that original amount. There's no uh, additional cost to the budget. There's no additional cost to the budget for the raises that were given. That was encumbered in the amount that's already appropriated. The 499 that is going to be the new number in that line is town vote raises the three percent and then that thirty thousand that was in there is a completely different program that is going to be um put on a warrant article now we've the board of selectmen removed it from from the operating budget and put in a warrant article state where if it passes the warrant article the standalone warrant article it will become part of this line but it's not going to be in the proposed budget anymore it's now going to be its own and that is for a different program of standby pay from the hours of 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. not nothing to do with current operations
I may be confused or I may not have asked the question properly, but tonight mm -hmm. at the public hearing on the uh, fire chief's contract, there was a question raised about, or the statement made by Steve Ro Roberts. Yeah. Robertson, the Robert. chairman. Yeah, um, that said that they had given the firefighters, this was this December, a couple of days ago or weeks ago, a $1 an hour increase. I understand that there may be enough money in the budget for this year, 2018, to pay that. But that's got to appear somewhere for 2019, that dollar an hour. I, the 499 is a separate raise, as I understand it. Correct. The 30,000 is for a totally different program. Correct. So where is the extra dollar an hour? Or is, is, in fact, is that incorrect that they did not get that dollar an hour raise? Chief? That's in that line 150. So the funding that was already in, and that, now, correction, the, the raise that was given, is that for the call force or for the pretty force? That's for all the employees. All employees across the board, okay. Yep. Including the chief and the secretary? Well, I'm sorry, not including those. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. The people that are out okay. on the trucks. Could, could we have a breakdown so we know how much that dollar an hour is as an amount within the yep. proposed $100? Eighty-six thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Thank you. Or the one hundred seventeen thousand, or both. Can I bring that the night I go to finance? Is that yeah, sure? Yep. Okay. okay. Anything else from the finance committee? Page eight. Tom. Tom. No. <laughs> Pretty quick. Uh, the line um, 316, account 345, the fire dispatch, uh, is that all paid at the end of the year? Is that why there's only 3801 paid so far? I can go to that Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, for whatever reason, Gostown usually uh, bills us every other month, um, and they took a break uh, this year after they did the first month and so they just recently sent us an invoice I think it's into yeah. this, this mm -hmm. week's manifest yeah. Yeah. so mm -hmm. that whatever that balance kick. was 7600 or so um, just went out the door this week. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes Lori <laughs> Dealing with three line item 316, the fire dispatch. Mm -hmm. Just for my clarification, this is an increase in the contract as I understand it. That is correct. Mm -hmm. We just signed the contract again this, what was it, last month? Last week. Last week. Well, not where, last week. I wasn't here. Two weeks ago. Where um, I <coughs> am confused, and please illuminate to me. If this were not to pass, mm -hmm. We need a dispatch. That's correct. So if this doesn't pass, how do we dispatch? Because that would mean the current contract has gone to the abyss. It's no longer valid. And we would not have ratified this one. What do we do? I believe. That's a good question. <laughs> Just asking. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> I believe that's one of those items that's covered in the RSA, correct? The no, they're, no, they're not. The default would be eleven thousand four hundred four, and you'd have right. to come up with some. You'd have to come up with ten thousand one hundred ninety-six somewhere. We'd have to come up with the difference okay. in within we'll, the budget we'll pull it and make it a warrant article. You can't not have a hmm. and run the risk of whatever. That's you have to have dispatch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or else you have an answer machine no. that says no move no. warrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we'll call somebody. We'll, get to you. we'll try. Get money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any more on page eight from either? Page nine, fire department. Yeah, line 345 or on your 679 training, fire training at fee expenses. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, 349. Down the bottom? Okay. 679. 679. 
Yeah. Right, 340. We budgeted at 8,000. You spent 5,800 for this year. Yep. And you're going for 10 next year. Why? Yeah. Um, so one of the things that we've done in the past is we have sponsored um, people to attend paramedic school as, as one example. Um, but also we have, um, we pay the tuition part of people to improve their skill set whether they want to be in, in, they are an EMT and they want to be an advanced EMT, they need to go to firefighter school, um, <clears throat> or, you know, ideally we'd like to identify someone who is interested in becoming a paramedic in our ranks now. And, and if it's a good fit for everybody, um, use that as, as tuition money to, to do that. Um, we've sent three people to medic school um, and had pretty good success with that. Um, two of the three, we didn't, we didn't pay the whole boat um, because the they decided they wanted to. One decided they wanted to. It was more lucrative for them to seek that tuition reimbursement from their employer so so that agreement ended for us paying and um, we changed the relationship with one of the other employees so um, we didn't finish paying on that but, but I, I, I think it's what's that you you underspent that line by twenty two hundred dollars and you're adding another two thousand it doesn't make sense right yeah, well, some of that is, um, do we have, all the POs are in, right? Six. But, John, if you look at, if Six, you look seven, at 2016 and 2017, both years have been over that, that yeah. 10,000. Yeah, so the, the one thing that caused us to underspend it this year was the paramedic school piece. We had intended to, send one. we would still be sending someone to school, but that relationship ended. Um, our historical average has been more than, um, you know more than the eight thousand dollars that we've had, and, and we have uh, we have a, some new members um, that have just come on. The training, um, you know, is, is to get them to move up through the system and, and improve their skills. Uh, in order to do that, some of it is kind of um, you have to strike while the iron's hot. So if we see, oh, you know what, you get uh, we had three people in firefighter class now; they're just finishing up. Um, I wouldn't have guessed we would send anyone to firefighter class this year and then all of a sudden one said they wanted to do it which caused another person to say they wanted to do it and and so you know we need to have the money available to do that I, I understand that this line doesn't look I, I understand your concern of the request given the fact that we didn't spend it all this year but in the past we, we certainly right. have in in uh, and I think that paramedic program has been um, very, very good for us. We, we've gotten two very good employees out of that. Chief, are you still, um, are they still doing runs on the, uh, for, <coughs> for the ambulance and so forth in WASH? Are they still yep. doing that? Okay. So, so the program for, um, certainly for medic school and, and it also trickles down to some of the other stuff is mm -hmm. if we're going to front the money right um that we the kind of the, the the offset for us is um for medic school is is that we we require them to do 10 hours a week for us right. as that tuition reimbursement piece okay. and so if for some reason the employee um walks out the door they've kind of already paid us back for the amount of money that we right. we put up front um, there's a big benefit for the town um, there's a there's a definitely a benefit for the student because they don't have to do that capital outlay um, I mean medic schools twelve thousand um, bucks in uh, in in the certainly two of the three cases that we had um, and, and even all three, they're very good candidates for a paramedic school, um, and, and two of them are, are still with us, and, you know, it's been been great for us. And I know one, uh, Justin Martineau, it, it didn't occur in this town, but um, shortly after he became a medic, um, he 
saved someone's life and brought him back from uh, being deceased at his job in Hollis. So. Okay. Anything else on page nine? Okay. Lori? Sorry. I was going to look up. This question encompasses several departments, but i looking at here, line 336, wait for Board of Selectmen to select fuel rate. Um, I talked to Henniker, they have their fuel rate. Goffstown has their fuel rate. Dunbarton has their fuel rate. Not attacking, but why can't we have a fuel rate? Well, what do they get a fuel rate in? They got it on gas, they got it on diesel, they got it on propane. We have, we have a number, we just haven't discussed it. Oh, okay. Um, nobody will give you a set rate, though. Henniker and Goffstown have set rates. I'll call because nobody gives us one. Mm -hmm. Our money's just as green as theirs. Okay. <coughs> okay. Any other questions? Fire Department? Mm -hmm. Finance Committee? Board? Okay. I'm going to skip ahead here. A proxy for Ray, if you want to discuss his. Yep. Uh, forest fires, what? This is going to be reduced by 30, right? Correct. Yeah, the overall increase for the fire department's increase of 59,728 is going to be reduced to 29,728 because we're moving that 30,000 moving to Warnaco. So we'll skip ahead to page 10. For forest fires, $25 decrease. <laughs> anything from the Board of Fireworks? I mean, Fireworks. I see <laughs> Steve sitting here. So, anything from Board Selectmen? Well, I hope we don't get any. Finance Committee. <laughs> okay. Thank you, safe. And I'm going to skip ahead again <laughs> to page 13. <laughs> Animal Control. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions from the board as far as animal control? Lines 520 to 530. Only one. Yes. Is anything happening with that? <laughs> uh, we, we have since advertised again, so that's three times, and we've had zero applicants. And that, and that, um, in that, in that, that advertised is it reflective of this this number you proposed? No, nope, can't. Okay. Okay. So you're trying to get it for what? What's the actual hourly wage now that's being advertised? Um, I, I got to tell you, this last time I don't think maybe the last two times we didn't advertise the rate. Really? Uh, it, it's not not that it's going to harm us. At, you know, zero is zero is zero. Okay. Uh, Applications, but um, uh, the 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 average the average animal control officer is making um, several dollars per hour. I have to look it up um, per hour more on a per diem basis than than we are offering. Um, Does this proposed number bring us somewhere back into the ballpark, or are we still out in the highway in the gridlock? We're probably we're in the yellow line right now. Yeah, it's it's in the ballpark. It's in the ballpark. If I remember, the average for this region is sixteen something an hour. Um, so fifteen would put us in the ballpark. It's okay. Just okay. And the and the one sixty three and six ninety six that are reflected in the next two lines were because of the town vote. That's not is that or is that also no, include the increase for that includes the increase. okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, this rolls back to my question, though. To be com to be in line with John, where that's a pay raise as such, should that go to warrant? Have you thought of that? That's just a thought I'm having. I don't know about the rest of the board feels. Mm -hmm. 
I do have another question, Chief. Well, let's not avoid that first one. I won't avoid the first one. Just because I'm here. Then. Has there been any discussion possibly with a surrounding town to <coughs> split joint? Two towns? Join? <laughs> No. I Just like a, a suggestion. I don't want to say like a mutual aid, but almost like a... Wasn't Henniker at one time right. looking for if they have, animate if control? They were, I haven't heard that. Oh, was that I thought they were around the same time. Or is that code oh. enforcement? Just a suggestion. Oh, I don't know. It might be something to explore. <coughs> oh. I think it was code enforcement. Okay. I think it was code enforcement. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. <laughs> now to get back, now to I get think back to the other mutual aid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so back to my question. Yeah. <laughs> should, should that be moved on a warrant article? What's the board's feelings? It's, it's 11,232. If you put the fire department up there, you kind of have to put that one up there. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, DPW is looking to put a warrant article out. Yep. So yep. I think to keep in line with the rest of the departments, it should be. Yeah, if you're going to do it for one, you have to do it for one. True. So there it is. I think there's a board consensus that we're going to move it into a warrant article. That sound right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything for the board of selectmen in animal control other than said? Handout. That's finance committee. Hold on. <laughs> we're still. At, we're still. Well, at I'm getting directions. No, we're, we're still. At, we're still at board level here. I should have said the corner. Well, we're still. At, we're still discussing it as a board. Don, are you applying for this position? Huh? No. <laughs> so, so does the board want to move that out? The w yeah. What the w animal control? To to a separate warrant article. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions from the board of selectmen no, on no animal control? No. Do we not hire animal control? Not at that rate. Not at that rate. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, any other questions from the board of selectmen on this? No. No. Okay. I do have a question, but I'll let Donna go first. Thank you. Um, how did you come to thirty hours, Chief? And not like 20. Can you convince me it's got to be 30 hours and not 20? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't convince her? I, I can't. <laughs> it's the, the calculation of 30 hours uh, was, was based on um, re really it needs to be 29.5, you know, the part, the part time empl employee rules. Um, that was a, a maximum exposure number. It was not necessarily a, uh, a performance-based number. Um, and quite frankly, after 15 months without one, um, I'd be very hard-pressed to try and convince you that we're going to need to have an animal control officer for 30 hours a week. Okay. Now, is there something that um, maybe, uh, is there something <coughs> maybe that, that we can pull from dispatch for as far as um, what the officers are running for animal calls as of right now? And, and, and somehow almost interpret that as an as a hours number spent per week as a whole for animal control duties by our officers? I think we can. Okay. I think that'd be a, a valid number to, to get a, I don't want to say an accurate representation, obviously, because it could change as far as, um, you know, the, the, the degree that uh, animal control officer would investigate cruelty, you know, but as far as a generic, um, time spent, you know, just turning the key to respond might be able to get a little better number that way. Right, and, and that's and that's another piece of the pie, though, um, that uh, the officers are already around. existing. Right. You know, they're, they're, they're there. Right. Um, they're, they're not responding from home. Um, Correct. Staying. Potentially changing. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, any other questions from the Finance Committee on the ACO positions? Okay. So we're going to move that out to that. Chief, I think we are all set with you. Oh, he's waiting? Oh. See, that's why I tried to move the skip ahead so he could leave. Okay. Well. Send me out for a bag of Fritos, Mr. Chairman. I'm afraid to go back to my budget and cut something. <laughs> 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 That'll be at the work session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring a big bag. Can I ask a question? Yeah. I didn't 
know where the board was on the topic. It seems like compensation is an issue more than one department. And I didn't know if the board was interested in maybe looking at doing a compensation study to see if that, I think we can all point to some evidence that, you know, ACOs typically make more, or their rate is higher in, in some communities, and I think we know that with DPW, and I think we could show that, and, and I think there are many other employees in town that probably could um, benefit from, from something like that. So I didn't know if there was a, a thought process to maybe look at this issue more globally than, you know, each department putting in a warrant article right. for... I think that I think that has a lot of, of weight to it. Um, I think that that would have a lot of weight out there, um, as far as a study. Um, you still have to fund it. At some it still point. has to be funded, absolutely, <coughs> right. and it still has to be funded. You know, the positions and the raises have to be funded by the taxpayer ultimately. But right. um, you know, a little education wouldn't hurt anybody. I don't it, think. it just seems like it's a it's certainly a recurring theme mm -hmm. in the circles I draw. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, know when HMA used to do a wage survey. I don't know if they no, do they it anymore. They don't even put it online or anything. It, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's hard to get apples to apples yeah. on some of those yeah. comparisons. But right. Um, and the other thing too it would be is is if the um, the actual um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm going to use you as an example. Oh. What what we what we pay for a truck driver here versus what the state of New Hampshire pays, and the percentage of vacancy that they have versus us, mm -hmm. that would be another inclu inclusive piece for across the board. Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that the state's vacancy rate is a little higher at their pay rate rather than municipalities. Well, I I, I know speaking personally, um, you know, to to is it's definitely an issue for us. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, I've seen in DPW, for instance, you know, bringing someone in and, and having them go someplace else where it seems clearly it's because of money, the money issue. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it, it just, it seems like it might be Beneficial. a good time, or the timing is, is right to look at that issue. Okay. Neil? I did see you back there. <laughs> Uh, before you folks go down that road, take it from someone who's been there. If you want to bust the budget in the town, you conduct that study. Because the study presumes erroneously that market rates, what's paid for a truck driver by the state or something else, make sense for a particular employer, such as the town of Weir. That premise is a faulty premise, and that's the premise behind these comparability studies. If you go down that road, you will cost the taxpayers of this state enormous amounts uh, of, of where enormous amounts of money, and practically guarantee a default budget forever. Now, let me, uh, but let me ask you, because me as the individual, mm -hmm. if if and, and this is just me asking the question that that you're presenting. If I see a position that's that's apples to apples as far as benefits package and work being performed and the rate is two dollars more an hour else that at, at place a rather than place b why am i as the individual going to go to place b for less that's up to you it depends upon where you live where your child care is how long it takes you to commute to work what it costs you to commute to the differences there are all sorts of variables how close you want to be to home do you really want to work for this other employer that pays more but may have a terrible reputation or an excellent reputation and moreover, even if you decide to leave, that doesn't mean that you can't be replaced for the $16 or whatever your number was that you were earning now. And so the net effect of, what, of going down this road is to vastly increase wages of employees. That's the, that's the end result of these. That's why um, they're so attractive to employees. They guarantee increases for everyone. Well, I think we I think we can agree or disagree because I think that that would I, I while I agree with the the fact that the budget would would go up, adequate services would be provided to the town. And you're saying that now at current wages we're not getting adequate service. We're short. We're short personnel across the board. And so is everybody else. Look at the economy now. That's you correct. But but it, to me, money is it, it would make it more appealing to come come somewhere. 
That's my own opinion, but we, c we can when agree the nursing, to disagree. When the county nursing home raises its wages to be comparable, mm -hmm. they don't get more employees. Uh, the state raised its wages for nurses by 15%. The next day, Concord Hospital had an ad in the newspaper, our wages are going up 20%. Did the state get any more employees for the additional 15% increase? No. Their employees got another 15%. Concord Hospital got uh, employees got another 15%. And all of us pay higher health care costs. Okay. Tom. Shouldn't have opened that can of worms. No, I guess not. <laughs> no, I won't take a long time, but you know, you, you could do a limited comparison. Yeah. You know, you don't have to compare Manchester and Concord to where. Right. But if you did a limited comparison of towns approximately our size and assume that people uh, sh shop for their groceries in approximately the same place, so that comparable pay would probably be uh, a fair thing, uh, you know, I, I don't think that. Comparing to what other people are making always has to lead to massive change, but I know that you know Benji's had a hard time getting truck drivers, and uh, just because it is a good economy, mm -hmm. the better the economy, the harder it is to get employees because they have other options, and it's probably the same with police officers. Over the years, we've lost we've lost police officers to Manchester to Nashua and most recently to Antrim. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. I think at least a limited comparison is... Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't hurt for setting more limited. articles, right? Okay. We'll move on back to page nine. Code enforcement. <coughs> page nine, code enforcement. Any questions? Page nine. Board? Finance Committee. Yes, no, maybe? Page nine? All set? Okay. Page 10? Code enforcement? Board? No questions from the board, finance committee? Okay. We've done forest fires. We'll move on to the highway department. Page 10. Highway Department. Anything from the board? Page 10? Finance Committee, page 10. Okay. Page 11. Highway Department. Yeah, I got one. Yep. <laughs> Same thing, line 437. Right. Uh, gravel and Calcium chloride for gravel. I think that should be in a warrant article. Oh, no. 42,000. No, it'll stay in rotary construction. Otherwise. <laughs> I mean, why would we take something we have and put it on a warrant article? Yeah. We have that now. Yeah, you're at, you're it's not something new. You're proposing, yes, it is. You're proposing 42,000. To take it from one. For gravel and to calcium take it from chloride one area and for put gravel it in road maintenance. Yeah. To take it from one and area to another. Construction. Not a rotary construction. It's just a new line. But where? Oh, but, but let me ask. No, let me ask. Yes and no. Where is rotary construction? That's a that's a that's Warner. a cap that's a capital that's reserve fund, correct? No. No, Warner. it's a um, Warren. Warren article. What? It's again. We we have all these gravel roads. No. That we main, we should be maintaining. I, I don't. I'm not operating. arguing on that. I don't disagree that it should be in the operating budget. But it, he takes it out of road reconstruction, which is less he spends on road reconstruction. Where is our road reconstruction fund reflected? It's a separate Warren article. But what, what fund is We're it We're not reflecting? raising any less. It comes it's it's what he's you're not getting at. Yes, you're but not raising any less, but you can do a little more if you put no, I'm not we're not I'm not discrediting that. I'm asking is where where is the you, you raise it from Warren article, where is the money? It has to be. It has to be in some kind of an account. <coughs> no, 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 no. The road reconstruction as a whole. Where is that money? Well, it's it's a warrant article that lapses if you don't spend it all of the year. I understand that, but where, when, when we, when, when it's voted for, it's a, it's a yes vote. Um, where does that four hundred eighty thousand dollars end up? In a warrant article that she tracks separately, that if it's not spent, it goes back. It floats away. Does that come out of the general fund? 
-hmm. Depends on how you war do the warrant. You have so much money, which you have 480. Say 280 comes from the state, and the 200 is raised by taxation. Yes. So you have 480 to spend. If you spend 450, then 30 goes back to the general fund. You have no way of using it. So he's been using it. So to he's do been using $42,000 on the gravel roads. I understand that. But he's still going to raise. They're still going to raise the two hundred thousand for the road reconstruction. He just right. won't be using it on the gravel. He'll use it on something else. Exactly. So right. this is an additional forty-two. No, I understand. I, I understand. Right? I understand everything that, that you guys have just said. Yes, okay. I get that. But my, my question okay. is: is that the forty-two thousand dollars is coming from road reconstruction? It's yeah. not. As of right now, it is. Right now, yeah, right right now, now it is. Yeah. Yes. Right now, it is. <laughs> Correct. This is it. Correct. But where, when, when we raise that money, where does that money? Where, do we have an account mm -hmm. that we spend spend it from? Yeah. Our, our account line. Dollars go up. Yeah. Okay. Like any account line in the budget. Okay. Tracked. And at the end okay. of the year, it goes away if you don't spend it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was my question. After all that, if we have an account line for it. Thank you. That was my question. So let me ask this: If it went on order, it got voted down, and that then I don't have to, I don't have to do roads. calcium or nothing, then, right? You don't have to fix the dirt roads. You, you can let it go all potholes. Yeah. That sounds good to me. <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm going to disagree with you, John, on that. So the, the, just to give the reason we did this, and you're going to see the same thing in transfer station, right? Is the thought was. If it's a, if it's an every year maintenance item, and cal calcium chloride is unarguably a hundred percent maintenance item for gravel roads only, mm -hmm. and that's twelve out of that. Mm -hmm. 30. We crush approximately thirty. Sometimes we put a little on the shoulders on the paved roads too, but that's maintenance. No different coal patch or anything else, you know. So we're trying to spread the rotary construction that we don't have enough of anyway mm -hmm. to actually fix an, a road one time. Twelve that the calcium chloride and, and and the gravel that we crush is just for maintenance. What we use it for, just mm -hmm. maintenance. And I know that's where other towns have theirs, so I guess that's where I kind of got my idea from. I guess just throw it out there and ask. I mean, <clears throat> if it don't, it don't. But I'm just trying to trying to give the people the roads they want. I guess we got to move forward in uh, in our overall uh, way of giving our services here so trying to move ahead in baby steps I guess so if you if we left that 42,000 in there in, in the budget and we'll go to where it is right now yep you'd still have 480 I'd still ask re for that right road so more or less I'd be getting another 42 to to work on roads is what the idea was. I figured that would be a, for the discussion, so I'm happy to have it. I just John, we went through the same thing back when when, when we didn't have a line for cold patch. Is right. we, we made a line for cold patch because right. that was coming out of right. road reconstruction as well, right. or we weren't doing it at all. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Before and like he said, I I know a transfer station. You got another line in there for mm -hmm. the glass. For the glass. And to me, right. I mean, yeah. we should guess we should wait. But to me, that's just for recycling. It shouldn't come out right. of road construction, even though we put a dump truck load every once in a while on the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> okay. No. I mean, I. Is that something you want to move forward with? Is moving that? No. no we'll leave it. Okay. Yep. Board all set with that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I got another question. All right. <laughs> 442. 442. Roadside mowing. Yes, sir. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> well, I don't, but I hope so. <laughs> I mean, you spend $12,000 a year mowing. Mm hmm. For what, one month? If we're lucky, we did three weeks this year. Yeah. So for approximately, because I've been checking around, 50. between forty and fifty thousand, you can buy a tractor that we would own, and you can mow year round. I'd absolutely positively love that. I, I mean, it just makes economical sense. 
especially this time of year when you get well, you, you've you got manpower more. pushing brooms where one of them could be out on roadsides. I agree. If there's one thing I notice the most when I'm driving around, it's brush. It, it's brush you know, it's the visibility. Right. And when yeah. brush goes from this big and this tall to this big and yeah, it's no more. I mean, we don't need to mow down here. We don't need to mow down here. We need to mow up here. Right, but you need to maintain that brush. Every I understand. Yeah. Trees I, I think I, really I kind of agree with you. I mean, we yeah. agree on that. It re the reason for the increase is that the tractor went up. And that's why we only did three weeks this year because yeah. last year I budgeted for twenty five hundred <coughs> a week, and when I called them up, it went. Yeah, I understand that. So, so that's, that's I mean, definitely something. So you asking me this year or next year? I haven't researched enough. I know about what they cost, but I haven't really put much research yeah, into I, it because I, I didn't expect it to be a positive uh, what would you response. Look at for a I, I don't. I really haven't put that much effort into yeah. it, other than I know most of these rental places keep them for three years and then kick them. So, and they're all different. I mean, Fairfield has like four tractors, and I think they're four different ones. So, I'd have to look, look around. You know. Well, we must. You would want something probably what fifty horsepower. Well, I don't know how much they are to be right. Yeah, at least. Mm -hmm. So is that something you want to form? Hmm? Is that something you want to form into a warranty? It'd be a used well, one. I, new yeah, one, yeah, used one. I, mean, I think he definitely ought to start looking. Would you mm -hmm. want a sickle bar or would you want well, to keep it in no, here? Absolutely. The uh, rotary. Even with all the not we don't want to try the rotary in the warranty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't mold that anyway. As far as with, with, the ca with the caveat, I really want it. I really want it for the brush. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it would if you word it correctly. Is this CIP? I don't. I think it's a CIP article, and he okay. should look at it. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's over fifteen thousand dollars. Right. Right. Yeah. True. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm more happy to look into different things. Can you have your evidence mm -hmm. yeah. of how many years you spent? Mm -hmm. Just like you know, yeah, I mean, how many years you've, you've already bought a tractor two or three times over. Get three hundred dollars. Right. I mean, not you, but the town is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just something I think. Oh, I agree. I mean, if I got, uh, if I have support, I'll put more effort into it. That's the only reason I have, and I figured I'd get little support on that. So. It's hard to replace a piece of equipment in this town. Never mind buy something new additional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But okay. overall, after the first three years, three years yeah, we own it. Oh, I'll, I'll look. I'll keep my eyes more open. Oh, we definitely could have. Um, four fifteen. Four fifteen. Yeah. Cleaning service. That's a proposal to, um, for somebody to come clean the office slash bathroom area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is where you rob in the day for me now to do it. Okay. Yeah. She comes and just tidies up a little bit, I guess. Okay. I think we're we the last the new, building we got not the new to building do. Building keep it clean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to. Mm. That's once a week. Right now we're getting it once every two weeks. And yeah. <laughs> she even said, uh, "Guys, gonna have to start doing this once a week. I don't want to do it because it <laughs> got a lot of work when she shows up." <laughs> two weeks. Four thirty-five. Four thirty-five. Wait, yeah, 435. Building repairs. Yep. We drop it to 2500. You want to go back to 5000 for now you know you've got other things. Yeah, being a brand new building, I absolutely positively no idea what it's going to cost to maintain stuff. And even though things are new, there's mm -hmm. going to be maintenance on it. So right, right. That we furnace is lucky to go, it's supposed to go six to 800 hours, and we start having trouble, we stretch it out. It's better to keep it clean. Yeah. No, I, and I, I just kind of wanted to remind that that, that was discussed mm -hmm. when yeah. the building was. I think so. I it, it was. That. It was. We don't know how much power we're going to spend. We don't know how much this. You know, this, mm -hmm. that, and the other thing we're going to spend. But now the numbers are actually starting to come in, so we have to reflect. Right, and that's a real rough number too. I just. Yeah, we. we what's that? We haven't even been in a hole yet. No, Correct. No, right. No, so. Right. Um, I mean, it's still not twenty-seven thousand dollars. That's for sure. And some of 10,893 was part of the old, mm -hmm. the old building. Right. right. And 10,393 dollars, a good share of that went down to 325, 327 North Star Highway to keep that going. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, our temporary home, yeah. away from home. Uh, 439. Vehicle equipment, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. 
that's falling into the same trend as we had at the police department. Yeah, a lot of well, it is, but who who made the comment a little earlier that you know that maybe it was you Rick, that said that probably still isn't enough, but we got to try to eke it up somewhat right. reasonable, you know? Right, and that's just it. I mean, the if you don't keep in mind that for, for everyone else listening, that that is just parts and some contracted services for things beyond our equipment you know our technology plugging the big trucks in and stuff so we have sent some trucks to dealers but oil tires all that i'm not sure about the other guys budgets but they're separate lines for all that stuff too mm -hmm. so you know when one of them trucks blows a uh, hydraulic line up second or third storm that we plowed this year had two trucks both blow main pressure lines we'd lost 70 gallons of hydraulic oil that one storm that's in a different line but mm -hmm. that was you know, reflective still about six hundred dollars a barrel mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so and just and just for the viewing audience done yet either. the viewing audience the the expense as uh, as of 12 6 18 was one hundred thousand eight hundred ninety dollars in that line it's a it was approved for seventy five thousand. So um that's half a truck. Oh, yeah. That's that's half a truck. Yeah. So it's starting to show, unfortunately. There's two mechanics not keeping up and you know, we're having to like I said, send some stuff out. So Right. The the, the inner workings of the motors on some of these are just I don't think town even wants to buy some of the equipment for it. So you gotta ship it out and shop labor as you probably know is ridiculous when you go to a dealer for it. So so. Yeah, I, I might know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well I weren't jabbing you, but you know, <laughs> no, we, I, we've I, sent a lot of trucks we, to McDivitt because they're 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 from there, and it's just you have to pay that. You know, mm -hmm. there's right when you have something. There's certain services. There's certain services that even other mechanic garages can't provide because you have to have the Volvo or the Mac or the Western Star or the Kenworth diagnostics tool. tool right? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I'm very aware. Um, does the board have anything else for the highway department? Finance Committee, Donna. <laughs> this side. I'm going to go back to the cleaning services. Yep. You got 1920. Mm -hmm. Is how many hours a week and how much an hour maybe? Do you know, or is it going to go out to bid? We drive that way back. It was once a week. At the current rate, we're paying. I do yeah, it's the same one that cleans the uh, police department in here. I didn't make so she gave up every other week. I gave her up for a day to get down there at least take some of it off. I have to look. What we're paying now, around 52 weeks. I'll have to look at that. That's 160 a month. It's 40 dollars a week. For a hundred? Will she come more than once a week? Once a week though for that? No? no, well, like a twice couple, a week, or she's there a couple hours, probably. A couple, two, three hours, yeah. You said once a week. I don't know. Forty dollars, say fifty dollars. No, it's not much there. Because I know men. I cleaned <laughs> yeah. the transfer station yeah. <laughs> when John first got there. <laughs> I'd rather see twice, mm -hmm. a, twice a week. <laughs> Those two bathrooms and, and really the. Oh, I didn't know if you had hours and you were going to break it down. No, there wasn't hours. It was just once a week. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Tom? Right. Does she clean the bathrooms? Yes. I believe so. Okay, just to clarify, I'm only speaking as one member of the Finance Committee because we haven't discussed this, but the, that line on... Uh, gravel and calcium chloride. The, the last two uh, DPW directors have asked to have a line in the budget for road maintenance as well, uh, so that it, because it's not really road reconstruction. A concern that I have is the whole package. There's no doubt the condition of the roads. I walk them, I bike them, I drive them, and we have so many roads that are in bad condition. But if you start adding up all the pieces from CIP and this as well, I just think that we should move cautiously um, because otherwise we could end up with nothing. Uh, you know, talking about possible uh, bond for 
$250,000 a year over 10 years, something like that. Uh, we're talking about uh, increasing the uh, regular road reconstruction to 500000 from 480, and we're talking about putting 42000 in here. Maybe there are a few places you could make some adjustments, like sticking with the 480 and maybe phasing this in over two years as a way of balancing it out and not having too much all at once. Not that it's not a need. And again, I'm, I'm speaking of my own opinion on this, not as uh, something that we've discussed as a finance committee, because we haven't. Thank you, Tom. Lori? Line 437, Highway Gravel Road Maintenance. I would like to know, to date, how much we have expended on highway and gravel road maintenance. I know my road, and this is no picking at my highway department. We have had a plethora of rain this year, so the poor man hasn't been able to go out and play in the rain to fix my gravel road, let mm -hmm. alone anybody's gravel road. But I do drive on a lot of the gravel roads, because I live on one, and it looks like somebody bombed the place. I'd like to know how much we have expended on that to date because when you talk about wanting to move gravel road, gravel and calcium into road maintenance, I'm very sure that when they dump gravel on my road, it they have to add more because it's gone somewhere else and it's not on the road. Also, to Tom's point, we have not discussed this as a finance committee, but this is me looking at what's going on. There is a warrant article that's coming for road reconstruction. You have a third of the town roads on gravel roads. Those are voters on those roads. Think about who you want invested on voting for these things. You need many voters. You're eliminating a third of them. Out of that road reconstruction by moving this. Just a thought. But I would like to know how much we have spent on gravel mm -hmm. and stuff because I'm not picking on you. But clearly, it has not been the year to work on gravel roads. It hasn't been. No. So we couldn't have expended 42000 on gravel roads. And what I'd like to know is where is that money coming from because. If you're going to be raising this amount by road reconstruction and now you want to raise this over here, we really need to think about that. I guess I don't understand the last part of your question at all. because Which part? Because the 42000 that that he's talking about has come out of the road reconstruction fund. Yes. So that's where it came from. You said you asked where it came from. That's where it's been coming from, regardless if it's 40, 30, 20, 80, whatever, has been coming from the road reconstruction fund for Correct. the gravel road maintenance. But going forward. Correct. Now you want to raise the regular amount or more for asphalt roads. And That's now you want to tax the taxpayers for this to add to this line item. Part of me wonders why this isn't a warrant article. The other part of me is saying you're going to be asking for a very big road reconstruction warrant article. Because mm -hmm. we and, need it. And all I'm saying is, is it the best thought to go at two pieces of the puzzle instead of keeping it as one because if you're going to ask for this big chunk over here and now you're going to tell me I want to tax you over here for this I just raised the question is this the wisest direction we've taken so to answer how much we've spent on gravel road I spent um, the entire 12,000 that we spend every year on calcium all the dirt roads have been calciumed at least twice. And I guess to say, I got a budget for $12,000, but it has, it's not really right, because I could spend more or less, I guess, coming out of road. But uh, the 30, if Crusher ever comes, we'll be spending that crush this year, too. So it won't be applied. So it's really, it's really the crushing of the material and the calcium. Right. You still have to apply it, so it takes a man. In. In a machine and everything else. So forty-two thousand dollars is not. It's to buy the product. 
Hmm. Right, to crush so what we have. It's done with a whole bunch of other manpower and stuff. Right. Which is paid for through your operating budget. Right. Right. Okay. Finance Committee, Highway Department. No, maybe. Okay, move on street lighting. I'm guessing electricity rates went up. Yours? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, because I'm shutting lights off fast as I can. That's right. Move on to the transfer station. There's no line on page 11. Transfer station, line 12. Um, no line 12. Page 12. There we go. <laughs> And again, the increase overall is trash that we have to haul. Mm -hmm. Still looking at seven times money right. for the team's expenses. And then the only other thing he does or added is the glass crushing, which I think he's kind of talked about before. Right. Because right. currently that glass crushing comes out of the road reconstruction fund, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's state mandated that you have to manage your glass. Right. Yep. Just dumping the bottles down back is not managing. You have to crush it. That's state mandated. Okay. So. And all the hauling fees. This is this is probably my biggest concern about <laughs> getting another default budget. There's an escalation clause in the, the contract, so we fell short by up to 18 percent on trash hauling last year i look at it i should look at it as only speak but it's a three or five percent escalation clause three i think every year for the three-year contract so it's going to go up cash hauling for instance be up around 21 percent higher than it was for the numbers that are mm -hmm. I had this year that 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 really killed me in this where you know if we if we don't get a budget passed get somehow get these new trash hauling numbers where they need to be I don't know how we're gonna pay for it the state kind of says we have to get rid of it but they don't <laughs> can't they, pile they it don't up. tell yeah they don't tell us how we have to pay for it yeah. <laughs> so Ben are you making any money at all on any of the stuff over there you're hauling the garbage now the paper's not paying anything no. cardboard paying anything yeah nothing on glass and nothing on well, your aluminum though, your aluminum you get some. Yeah, you paid for everything except paper and glass never has paid any money. It's just cheaper to crush than it is to pay to dispose of it. Glass is more money to get rid of than trash. <laughs> and paper we're not getting anything but it's cheaper than throwing it away. Mm -hmm. You gotta do something with it. Yeah, I mean I could throw it in the trash, but then we're gonna pay okay. more money instead of Fifteen dollars a ton, and I pay seventy dollars a ton. Right. Right. And then I'm going to pay. You know, we get paid trucking too. So. Right. But we get paid on all the stuff they bail and all the aluminum and tin. We get paid decent money for all that stuff. And where does that money go? Is that going back to the general fund? Yeah. Yeah, it goes into the mm -hmm. revenues and. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sending money. Yeah. Yeah. We do get our revenues up. Nice. That's where it all comes back to. Yep. We can raise fees. It's got to come from somewhere. If we have yep. to pay for it. So most of that increase is hauling fees. And the 15 and half of it is the... Yeah, everything but the glass crushing. Yeah. I mean, I think that and the calcium chloride it just, just is it's such a... Yeah. Water road reconstruction. <laughs> right. You know, we didn't always crush glass. When I first started, we did coal mingle, and we paid more money to get rid of coal mingle than we did our trash, I believe. I weren't the boss, so I'm not exactly sure of the numbers. But I was working at the transfer station, and Olaf container left three times a week. I mean, so since it's been recycling, it's a whole new world, 100 times better. But you still have certain things that will never be worth any money, and glass is one of them. Right. So the state says we have to manage it, so I take broken bottles and make them into smaller broken bottles and then the state's okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The board have anything else in the highway department? 
Finance Committee. Anything else, Neil? <coughs> Thanks, Rick. Uh, the fifteen thousand dollars and the forty-two thousand yeah, dollars will be in addition to the four hundred eighty thousand dollars. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So road construction stays at four eighty, and we're adding two new items to the budget for a total of uh, what did I say? Forty fifty-seven thousand. That would be correct. Thank you. Anything else in the transfer station? Okay. Sewer. Hmm. The increase is to have the one spare pump. Right. Last if last time when we got one spare pump, <coughs> we're in a world of Right. Yeah. And we've always had one all along, haven't we? Up until a couple of years ago. Yeah, till 2015, I think it was, they had a failure and they used the spare pump and, and they never replaced it. it. And I guess I never really thought about it being new at that and until it happened and we didn't have one. So. You know, one thing about the sewer, that kind of gets, that's just kind of an in and out account, right? Yeah, that's, that's really not, other than the people that use it are taxpayers, but it's not tax money. They, we, they pay rent on it, so it really. Okay. It's, so it's kind of a wash almost. Yeah. yeah. It is. What we okay. spend gets divvied up amongst the people that use it. you got to have a spare. That's uh, That was a very dangerous and scary thing that happened over there, being down on the pump that, for everybody. I mean, the town could have been pretty liable, but I could have, too. That's my license. And, you know, I had to go out to bid and everything for a $6,000 pump. Boy, if something would happen, that other one wouldn't have been good. So I want to have it there. Uh, just soon go the same avenue as we did, so it's the same pump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. um, the only thing I would say about that, I guess, my question would be, should that become a one-time purchase line? Should sewer have a one-time purchase line? Should that be in it? Because next, I mean, if. 2019, we buy the pump. 2020, you're not going to buy a pump, but that line's going to be right. $6,600. Yeah, more or less, other than not if we don't spend it. It kind of uses the whole department as a one time. I, I know exactly what you're saying, Rick, and you're probably yeah. right. Other than if I don't buy it and don't spend it, then it, they're, not charged they're not charged for it. It's just there in case I do need it in an emergency. Right, but it it's not like everything else where it could be spent on a different department or because the money's not there. Yes, yeah. we add it up and then we divvy the bill out. So it's I know what you're saying and I don't care, but yeah, it. I they, I'm, they don't it don't get spent until we use it. I guess. Right. I guess I guess my my contention. I I would like to see that as a one time purchase line. Only for the fact of is, I mean, you know, the four hundred dollars that that was approved for twenty eighteen, you put door hinges on the building, or you put light bulbs in there, or something like that. Yep. I, I I would expect it to come out of there, or or a gauge, or something like that. Yep. But the pump's a high ticket item, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have it in there. I'm just thinking it should be under a one time line item. Yeah, whatever works best for you guys, fine. That would that okay with the board? Are you planning on buying it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's not in case of emergency you're going to buy it. No, gonna I'm going to buy it. Buy it, oh, okay. buy it to have. As soon as someone tells me I can. All right. So I'd like to see it one time. <laughs> one time the only reason it isn't replaced yet is because I really didn't want to take the few people that are using it and give them a $13,000 bill this increase this year. So <laughs> trying to split it up a little bit, be a little nice to them. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for next month, and I'm probably going to go look to buy one. Okay. All right. So... Is the, is the board all right moving that to a one-time line? Mm -hmm. Okay. Finance committee on the sewer? No questions about the sewer, but I don't understand the consequences or the reason for putting something in a one-time line. Could you explain that? So, it with the 2019 proposed to me, this is my my take on it, 2019 proposed, if the, if the budget passes, that that equipment line now becomes sixty six hundred dollars, rather than four hundred. So with the one time with the one time purchase though of a pump, that would, or whatever it may be down there, a one time purchase, it's going to be bought, and and put to the side. But 
in the in the next year that would not be reflected. It would that equipment line would stay four hundred, and the one time purchase line may be a zero. So in the next year's default budget, that would be four hundred, not. Right, but it's one time purchase. The, the equipment <coughs> the equipment would be four hundred, and the one time purchase would be zero. Thank you. Anything else from the Finance Committee on the sewer? Okay. Water and treatment. Up $858, and that's for testing. How come that's up so much? Mm. I don't know. Or can you answer that? The state decides what tests you're going to do in what years, right. and you don't know. Um, we got a big one this year. I talked to other people that have done it, and said you only get one of them every once in a while, but they are as telling us we're going to have to do some additional testing for different things this year. So not really knowing what the numbers are going to be, we we bumped it up to make sure we can we can cover it. Because I went quite a bit over. Um, right. Where are we? Yeah, you yeah. yeah. Double. Yeah. So just trying to make it closer, I guess, so we don't go over next year. But seems to be more and more <coughs> testing, uh, you know, for different things. That some scientist decides there's something else that ain't good for you. Yeah, I don't think that that number is ever going to go back down as far no, as testing. No. 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 So. No. And more, you know, more and more of these things like St. Cobain and Pease Air Force Base and mm. all that type of stuff, they say, oh, we got to test for that too now. So. Mm. <laughs> Just because. So then we all have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. don't have to pay for it. Right. Anything from the Board of Selectmen on the water and treatment? Finance Committee? Move on to page 14, we've already done ACL. So the he health officer is down $340. Comments from the Board of Selectmen? Questions from the Board of uh, the Finance Committee? <coughs> Too much going on. Okay. Welfare. Up five hundred seventy-six dollars, and that was for employee. Well, it's the split, split the split, the split with the employee. Yeah. And the other one was part time, didn't have retirement. Correct. Mm -hmm. Questions from the board selectmen. Questions from the finance committee. Okay, parks and recs. Up seventeen hundred and forty-six dollars. Looks like the main okay. is for rubbish removal. I got a question. Probably yes. nobody can answer it. <laughs> Line 563. Why have they figured a 3% pay raise when we haven't discussed any pay raise at all for the rest of the town? That's returning staff merit for those that return every year. Oh, well, I understand that, but. Get a quarter more. I keep know. coming back every year. For 25 something. Mm -hmm. In my my opinion, in my, and it's only my opinion, if they're expecting three percent pay raise, the rest of the town employees are going to start looking around. The, where's my three percent? I don't disagree. Yeah, I don't think they can say. Yeah. I agree with you. All right. I, I would think that that would be correct too. So they'll be included in the warning yeah. list. I, would, I, I thought we discussed that last year. What? Yeah, but we did discuss it last year because I asked about it. I remember. That's the part-time director, which we did not. No, no. I asked if they were, if all the all the Chase Park were um, covered under the three percent. I, th I know. I. I'm not saying that you didn't. Right, right. I think that may have been my answer, but I know I did ask about it. Okay. So. I, I think they should be in the pool. They are not, as of right now, covered by the three percent pool or the raise pool. Excuse me. Thank you. And she put it there. Right, but I think I think they should be, honestly. So I I would I would myself move move to remove that that raise and put them in the pool. Mm -hmm. And I think, I, I think, uh, but but I think that that asks the question to, 
to, to follow up with that though is with the three percent what if they don't return and we get new staff every year so how do we figure how we figure three percent when we don't know what we're going to get for returning employees well, typically, I would think you would do it the same way we do with the firemen. So we take the number and we add three percent to it. Fire off highway. Yeah. Right, but you have people that have been there for for X amount of time, but the life the the. I think what we did is we take the the, the total number and we add three percent to it. Then they have to get their. So would they? So would their starting rate be up three percent as well? For, for somebody off the street? Well, this says merit. It shouldn't be. It says no, merit. It's only merit. returners. It's return only. Right, so it's only yeah. returners. But I'm saying is, is who do you know, how do you know who's returning at yeah. this no. point in time? No, so we uh, apply 3% like to the total. Should be like any higher employee. So if the, if the total is um, $31,320 in the pool, pooled article, you'd have that for a parts and rec, and then you'd apply whatever percentage to that. Then they have that to work with for staffing. But I think that's a false number. That's a false number to play with, because if if you have if you have only half of your staff come, come back, back. Yeah. are you going to give them six percent? Because that well that that's the, that's the pool that's the pool that they have to play with. Right. Theoretically, if if only half the re staff returns, they and, twice and as much money. they have twice as much money. Right. <laughs> so I, d I don't think that that's fair practice. <laughs> But I but I think it's but, but I think it's hard to it's hard to decide. All the same person all over the other department. I I mean I'm not saying that. And I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of money difference. They have, if they have half the employees show up for the I would probably going to get up their raises instead of the three percent. I mean no. Mm -hmm. No, 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 and that, but that's what I'm. But how do you know who's going to return? You don't. So you you, you so hire you them just as you would anybody else at that point. They three percent reflects of their salary. Not yeah. not anymore. Take the average of how many returned the yeah. year before. How yeah. Many before I mean, that? if it's fifty percent, then you judge fifty percent. I mean, sure. but but if it you, you can't just say for, do an average for, over the last three years. You just can't just say for every employee that comes back for that that they have. I don't think that's accurate myself. But yeah. but again, it's not a large number. It's six hundred sixty bucks. But but I, I do feel as it should be moved into the pool. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, right. Three percent of seven dollars an hour is twenty-one cents. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yep. No, I'm not yeah. exactly. I'm not saying it's a it's big. It's tough. She struggles to get kids for seven dollars and twenty-one cents. Right. Uh -huh. Boy, minimum wages. No, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Can work I'm not saying basket that. For it's ten. just um, I if I had a crystal ball, I'd tell you how Yeah. No, and that's fine. But you know. Right. I mean, she'd probably have a better idea <coughs> as far as, you know, who's going to come back when they leave the year before. At least a, at least a fair number. Yeah. Yeah. Things may change here to there, but so. So is the board's consensus to take that out? Well, there's also the yeah, to lead it. adult supervision that she's trying to entice to work Because you wanted adult supervision this year. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it says so I don't know what portion is 3% and what portion is the she's looking to <coughs> Yeah. Well, we can revisit that, but I think the three percent needs to come out at minimum. Mm. The three percent should be the pool. Yeah. It's the, yeah. Is the board? I agree. Agree yeah. with that? Yeah. Okay. Mm. And that would that would reflect five sixty five, five sixty six, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 572 is an increase as well for rubbish removal. I'm covering all the fields. All the ball Chase fields, Park. Chase Park, yeah. etc. Yeah. So anybody that wants to dispose of the trash in the dumpster, this is not before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People would just go down and fill the dumpster. Yeah. Oh, they, they didn't want to go to the dump. They mm -hmm. go to the dumpster. Way to walk. Looks like they didn't do an awful lot for. Um, Recreational activities this year. They also Recreational activities. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Those are just barrels. Can't really overspend any of the lines except for outside services. Mm -hmm. no. Anything for Parks and Recs, Board of Selectmen? Yeah. Finance Committee? Tom?
the uh, line 581 senior citizen activities I'm not speaking on behalf of myself I'm only 75 and in denial <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at something came up at the library uh, meeting we had last Thursday about the uh, uh, fees that are paid to the White Birch Community Center for uh, because we don't have anything in where so if people want to go there the town pays the fee for X number of people per year and the comment was made that well there wasn't anything really added they just took away from our other activities and I don't know what that meant and so what I'm asking is with that contribution toward the fees at the White Birch uh, Community Center, was some other activity for senior citizens eliminated uh, through Parks and Rec? Years ago, they cut it. Hmm? Years ago, it was cut. You were the, uh, yeah. We haven't cut it since. Yeah, I just. Because uh, years ago, it was like $2,000, and then it got cut. What, is, what does the town give to White Birch? It's a membership fee. Yeah, what is it? Yes. <laughs> White Birch is a senior, <laughs> uh, senior <laughs> activity group. They yeah. They can knit, they can square dance, they can do whatever they want. Oh, God. You're all set. No, but I I would just I like take take a look at that and see if there maybe Parks and Rec cut something out that okay. uh, because of okay. Just in case. Okay. Anything else for Parks and Recs as a whole? Library. Down two thousand sixty eight dollars. Board? Finance Committee? Patriotic purposes, five hundred dollars across the board. Board? Finance Committee? Nothing. Conservation? Down two hundred sixteen dollars. Board? Finance Committee? No. Economic Development? <laughs> Down to a dollar. It's a placeholder. What is economic development? Placeholder. <laughs> well, now it is. But what is the actual department for? Uh, two stamps. Well, we used to have a committee. Um, we used to have an active group that was consisting of looking to attract business here, which was for economic <laughs> development. And now there hasn't been any activity in obviously years to bring any business to where, because it's been pretty meek all the way back to 2016. Mm -hmm. So instead of carrying 50, um, we carried a dollar to leave the line item. Right. Okay. <laughs> Before we leave page 16, Neil, if you look at page 582, that would be what that one-time purchase would reflect like. 582 on page 15. On page 15, page line 582. The one-time purchase, that's how that would reflect. See, it didn't show anything 16. It did for 17, nothing for 18 and on. So that's how that one-time purchase would reflect. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Bottom of 15 is the ambulance, goes into page 16. Up $1,800. Chief? <laughs> ambulance billing percentage went up? Mm -hmm. It's all reimbursed. Yep. So that was that reflects that we are <laughs> taking in more income, I take it? Yeah, it's a direct relationship to that. Okay. As you can see, in years past, we've Spent actually expensed more. higher than we've budgeted. Okay. There's so an offsetting. Is offsetting revenue? Is that really the way that's that right. that works? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's in and out. It's right. in and out. Yep. But it, it is reflective of the current. As an ex because it's an expense, it has to show somewhere. So. Right. But it, but that eighteen hundred increase is a reflection that that we've been under. It's been oh. under. Yep. Okay. Right. Thank you. Any questions for the chief? Questions mm -hmm. from the board? Question from the Finance Committee. Okay. On to the debt service. That is down $2,077. Principal reducing equals less interest. That's what we like to hear on the DPW bond. Questions from the Selectman? Finance Committee. Capital outlay. And it's down $77,560 for the last ambulance payment, thankfully. Paid for last year. Yes, paid for last year. 
So that's why it's decreased. And this is the last year in the road grader. Yeah, so that'll decrease next year. That'll reflect next year. Mm -hmm. Questions from Selectman? Questions from the Finance Committee? We made it. Nope, we didn't. Damn it. We need to address the elephant in the room. <coughs> Diesel fuel and gasoline. Oh. What did you say? Just for clarification, I get confirmation that the courier has not gotten a fixed price on gas and diesel. Okay. Um, the only thing that got fixed prices on was uh, propane and heating oil. Okay. So they found the same thing I did that nobody would give you a diesel and a fuel uh, gasoline fixed price. Can you get up? Yeah. <laughs> Can you? And slide, slide across the room. Yeah. There you go. It's the same as last year. Okay. Didn't know what you um, this is what we spent I last year <laughs> for unleaded and diesel. Sorry. Well, that didn't make enough. I made five. Oh, yeah. I made five. <laughs> 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 So basically what you're looking at is um, on the front page, you're looking at the 2018 unleaded and the 2018 diesel. Um, is this what we did last year? This whole yes, divide in half plus the average? Mm -hmm. It's way too complicated. Yeah. It makes sense after um, you look at it. Typically for 19, based on the calculations above, you would budget for two dollars and thirty-four cents a gallon for diesel and two dollars and fifteen cents a gallon for unleaded. But let's look at the price. Yeah, we just paid two fifty-three for diesel. Yeah. So it's already above what we yeah. proposed. <coughs> That's, That's cheap. That ain't what happens work. by coming up with half. You split it in half and add the average to it. Right, that's what we did. I remember that. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you're paying a lot. Your your average for doing it that way puts you further in the hole because of mm -hmm. what you're paying now. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You're paying two fifty a gallon. You pay two sixty three. Pay two sixty three a gallon for diesel in September. And then unleaded, you were paying at one point two dollars and forty one cents a gallon in August. We just paid one eighty four for unleaded. For unleaded? Yeah. But right now, a little black box. Right. So it goes <laughs> up and down all the time, as you know. So. Um, <coughs> what would you like to do with it? We know how many gallons each department use. As she's as Beth has calculated and shown you what's happened in 15, 16, 17, 18, and proposed for 19. Chief Kelly, are we, are we um, he doesn't get fuel for the car that he drives at the um, transfer station or highway department. His, that's from the gas pumps, mm -hmm. and his car doesn't usually go to the gas pump that often. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of gas receipts. Is that why you're wondering why it's higher? No, it went up. It went up 22 percent gallons usage. Oh, oh, okay. The total usage. usage. Yeah, the projected 2019 is up 22 percent. Is that uh, for the first time in four years we're at full staff, and we're putting all the cars out more frequently. Okay. Well, we were at full staff for about 20 minutes the other day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Much All right. pleasure. What's the board want to do? Do we want to continue with the motto of the split in half add to average? Yeah. Get shortfalls. I think the unleaded might be somewhat safe, but we're already 
20 cents over on the diesel. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. even, the, even the gas is only four cents different. Some odd cents. Mm -hmm. 31, 31 cents. That possibly 30, might be. 31 cents, what do you mean? From what we just paid. Oh. To what? The 215. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did we just pay? 184. 184. Okay. So that I mean, might make it. I mean, we're looking at, you know, I know at the pump for diesel fuel, you're over three bucks a gallon for the average guy going down. We don't buy it at that, but I mean, it's, you don't the we don't no. have taxes, and so we get a, but it doesn't mean that the prices are going to get volatile and go up because of the oh, no, yeah. for heating. Right. Um, I mean, I'm looking back at uh, August, $2.41 a gallon for a letter. Um, you know, we could end up in the same boat again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have to... You know, we don't want to put too much away, but we don't want to get caught in a shortfall where we end From up April. robbing Peter to pay Paul either and not having the money to put the... Mm -hmm. From April through September, you paid over $2.33 again. Yeah. You paid 233 233 235 235 249 244 I think... I think yeah. yeah, that diesel fuel If the wind gets any worse, I mean, he's going to be out there burning that like it's... Water. <coughs> yeah. Right. I'm thinking that that we should go by the last one. If I take it, there was one price on the back for October. It says 2.7. So I don't know what that right. Two dollars and seventy cents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is uh, why do we have John Stark in here? Because John Stark gets gas at our pump, pump and we build them. It's all in and out. I think we should build them with the use tax on it. Mm -hmm. We're used. <laughs> <laughs> Make up our shortfall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it makes the municipality look better. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody will remember that. Yeah, I know. School budget for yeah, we're 22 and change, I think. Yeah. I, I just used the regular retail price. Two-year formula. I used the regular retail price and that builds in a safety net. I think, that, I think that'd be a large safety net, though. Well, that's, that's the state tax. I assume we still have to pay the federal tax. Yeah, no. it's like 42 cents a gallon. We don't pay any tax. No, federal tax is exempt and so is the state tax. Yeah. It is? Yeah. 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 I, I, my, my own feeling, and I guess I can put it as a motion, would be to utilize the, um, the averages for the, um, 219 and 247? That's correct. 219, that's on the job start. No, 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 yeah. On the first oh. page is an average before you do all the family. Oh, do a split mm -hmm. half? Yeah. 219 versus 247. I was looking at that, I was looking at that. Right. Usage on the back. Right. So I'll put, I'll put that in the form as a motion. 219 and 247. <laughs> General, second. Yes. If you, if you look at the U.S. energy information, um, they project for 2019. Uh, diesel to be, and this is retail, so we can do the deduction yeah. for the taxes and everything. Uh, diesel is uh, projected to be 321 a gallon, and gasoline is 275. And that's from the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. that's not yeah, far which off. is going to, which is not far off from the averages that we'd be at. Once you, once you take off the, the taxes. You want to take it's the taxes off. Well. Yeah. 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 So. But that, that put us close within. I mean, the diesel will be a little high, but 260 and change, but. 279. Yeah. Yep. 279 would be diesel. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two. 233 for gas. Yep. That's probably a better average. Can we get a cold snap? All right, so where you want where are we gonna put the numbers? What was that? Is that kind of similar in there? 321 and 275. Yeah. That's on the government energy projection. The what? EIA. 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 Yeah. Kind of like old McDonald's. <laughs> that, that was EIO. 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 <laughs> 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 you paid attention at first, right? I did. 
I was a star student. Um, <laughs> went, <laughs> went down. Went, it only went down anyways, yeah. <laughs> Can't say so much from my high school career, but. Um, <laughs> all right, so what do we want to put for numbers? What did you just come up with? 279 for diesel and 233, that's an estimate. For regular, for a gallon for our taxes. 233 and 279. 233 for gas. So what do you mean we're going to put the numbers? We're going to go 233 and bump it to 235. <laughs> and, 280. and then 280 for diesel. Yeah. So you want to take the 215 right at 235? Yeah. 235 Two gas, 280 for diesel. Yep. Is that a motion? Motion. Second. Second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all, in, Second. all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> I'm going to oppose. A large you number. What'd you say? A larger number. A larger number. Uh, you think a larger number? Sure no, where does it take us? A large number. Oh. Uh. Calcul I can hear the, the pitter patter of calculators right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now you're done. We just have to run through and what your changes. And fill it in. And fill it in and see where we go. Yeah, I think we I think we my personal way, I think we need to do a one more board time. work section. Oh, I think so too. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's some night or Saturday morning. Okay. So. As long as you do it like five in the morning, I'm happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, geez, there we go. I'll text you at ten o'clock. <laughs> 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 well, I'm up at some time. Make it a point to Lori Day, this is better hand up. No, I'm. I think we should. I think you should have work session. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you need to pick it. I mean, we were we were at in, in fifteen, in fi 2015, we were at 160,465 dollars for overall all department usage fuel cost yeah. was 160,000. Uh, 2018, we were at 96,000. So we've, it's gone down. It's again, it's kind of out of our out of our hands as far as what fuel price is going to be. So unfortunately, we do our best guesstimate. So budget related. Lori Davis, Finance Committee. As you know, the Finance Committee is meeting with the schools on the 18th, so we're meeting with all the schools. Mm -hmm. I've been to the budget sessions for both schools, and I can tell you with complete certainty that the Ware Elementary School is coming in at a 4.45% increase. That's without warrant articles. John Stark is still nebulous, and we will hear this on the 18th. From what we're seeing tonight, the Board of Selectmen is coming in anywhere from a 4.3 to a 4.4, depending upon what you're doing. That, too, does not include warrant articles. I would be remiss, as Finance Committee, to not say to you that information and to tell you the same thing I told the schools. We know the schools are the biggest drivers, but it is our job to look at what is being asked on all accounts and what is reasonable for the taxpayers' pocketbooks. We have a wealthy section in where, but the majority is lower middle class and lower class. The average mean income is 74000 The average person got a 1% increase this year. I understand all the expenses, but I would be wrong if I did not give you that information and tell you that we have told the schools they need to seriously look at what they're asking and think about it and <laughs> I say the same thing to the Board of Selectmen. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Neil, budget related? Yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> I just want to make sure that I understand this correctly. <coughs> On page 16 of the budget, you say there's a $266,380 increase. That's that's not accurate that's now. That's not accurate. We just subtracted a bunch of time. No, I understand that. You, you've made some changes to that. But that doesn't take into account roughly uh, 47,000, uh, uh, 77,000. Um, <coughs> the 47 that you took from yeah. mm -hmm. and the 30,000 from high fire. Um, but in addition, there were some reductions that happened beyond the control of the board. For example, 
and these, this is not a total picture, but just some of the larger numbers. Liability insurance went down by $42,700. Police health <coughs> insurance went down by $28,200. And highway health insurance went down by $9,600. Plus, your capital expense line went down by $77,000 roughly $156,000 that is a reduction in expenditures which you folks then spent and in addition to that the 266 minus whatever uh, you folks decide to reduce. In other words, am I correct that this budget reflects not just a simple increase of 266000 but 266 plus all of the reductions that occurred for reasons beyond our control rough estimate, uh, $80,000. It's a net. Yes. So you add the pluses and the minuses and you get the... Right, but, but the, it's, it's net, but the real spending increase is over $400,000, not the two sixty six. That's... We can the, respectfully disagree with that, but... That's not an accurate statement? You said it. I mean, I, I don't... I'm saying that there's pluses and minuses along the way. Mm -hmm. And you get to a net... Plus, you could have a net minus, but you get to a net plus of 266. That takes it to the whole equation of to run the town. I, I understand that. All I was saying is. I'm not going to take the minuses and add them back in and divide by half or something crazy like that formula. But I just don't. This That's the net operating. I, I agree with you. That's the net okay. increase. But uh, the net increase, but the actual increase in spending is close to 400000 Thank you. Thank you. Chief. I would just like to add that um, there was an offsetting revenue to the, the town for that 77560 right. for the lease payment that right. came out of that capital reserve fund. So there was an offsetting payment to the town. Right. Thank you. And the revenues that we've listed, I mean, the revenues were very, very, very conservative. You know what I mean? Um, we've always done it that way, so it doesn't overinflate and make the taxes that much less. So, um, you know, the revenues just somehow, if we could bump those revenues up, mm -hmm. you know, it would, it would make the offset a little bit better. Better. But, um, Again, that's a tough thing to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Recycling is directly correlated to control. Maybe they get twice as much for plastic, they get twice as much for fuel. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of wash out. Yeah. Everything's yeah. Oh. Directly, <laughs> directly yeah. related to what you buy tires. Yeah. It's all the same. Mm -hmm. Not really. <laughs> not especially. Not I mean, I, not not <coughs> New Year's Eve. I can't really care about. It's another day to me. But yeah. but Christmas, yeah. Saying, let's leave that um, one alone. Because our public hearing is going to be January fourteenth for the budget. Because that's for statute. Okay. Um, right here is the. Um, the last day to hold at least one public hearing on the annual budget. So you are holding it on the 14th. So you back two weeks up from that. I'll end up running the advertisement shortly after Christmas for the um, January 15th, 2019 public hearing. So we have, we still have to do warrant articles. We still have to meet with finance committee. So um, I don't know what you thought is a separate night. Separate night, I mean, like I said, I'm pretty open to whenever. It's up to the board whenever they want to meet. We're going to have another work schedule.
scheduled here too. The we're doing it on the 17th. The 17th we're doing that. The 17th we can, we can talk about the budgets again, but yep. we're going to move off and move towards finalism. Yeah. Um, when do we talk about Warren articles? Well, we have to do it shortly. We've already got a good idea of some of them. Right. We haven't heard from all of them. Okay. Um, so you're running out of this week or next week, you're going to have to do something. Well, how about we, we have that, um, the roads meeting the road Thursday, 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 Thursday night. Um, I have a meeting here Wednesday night. So, I believe the stone fund meets Wednesday too, don't they? Probably. Yeah. Sure, you can't do uh, Wednesday because conservation is made. So, can we do possibly next Tuesday? Would that work? A work session for us? It's what day? The 18th? The 18th. 18th. Next Tuesday? Yeah. At 7. Okay. Did that work? Yeah, it's the 18th. The 18th at 7? Yep. For a work session? 7th, 18th. Seven. That sounds like a go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <laughs> we'll meet next week, the 17th and the 18th. Yep. Yep. And then we're meeting the 26th as well, keep that in mind. 26? We're meeting at the regular meeting for the. No. no. December 26th. The day after Christmas? You agreed to that way back in September. I must so there. <laughs> Not with it. <laughs> yeah, they did. I said Naomi, they what time Christmas. are the meetings on the 17th and 18th? The 17th will be a regular meeting. It's a Monday night. And the 18th, we just said the work session would be 7 o'clock. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so the mon Monday's a regular meeting and the 18th. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> so, just to verify, Warren articles next Monday? Yes, please. The entirety, you guys are going to do it again? I, I would love all the Warren articles for next next Monday, okay. if possible. Okay, do you guys have any? Other than the roof for the safety complex. No, I, 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 I want to have a discussion about, are we going option one or option two? With the, with the road? I think you need to decide what you're going to do so that we can adequately advertise. Yeah. We, don't want, we don't want to get to the end and say, oh, I think I like option two, but I like option one. I'm not sure. I'm just saying we as a group need to decide what you're going to do so that we can produce the warrant correctly and that we can advertise if you're going to hold the bond here. Oh. And proofreading. Okay. I mean, I yeah, we can discuss that. I mean, the guys right there to talk like, to. I mean, I'd like to move so that we can put the warrant together mm -hmm. in a rough form. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we can't put the warrant together if you don't know if you're going to go option one or option two. Right. Well, I think we should discuss that then. Because what you hear Thursday night is going to be informational, but I don't know if it's going to change your mind one way or the other. Right. It's going to be great information. Oh, absolutely. But I just don't know what you feel like, you know, for us to put the Warren articles together. I want to just kind of have an idea. Well, we're going to have... I mean, there's, there's pros and cons for both sides. Um, you want to speak to it? Well, like Naomi said, I don't know if Thursday will change anybody's mind, but I don't know who's on the fence and who isn't. What they're really going to speak to a lot is road preservation Thursday night, and that's what the majority of that bond, really all that bond is is intended for, is road preservation, not additional construction. The bond that they're going to talk about Thursday. Well, the bond we're, we're talking about. Yeah. They're not going to talk about either. Talk they're just going to explain why we do things. Why do you overlay? Why do you chip coat? Why do you okay. put one inch instead of three inch, three inches instead of four inches? 
they're just going to tell you how pavement works and the importance of keeping a good road good. I I am so sold on that, and so they're going to they do a way better job of explaining it than I do. But I want to make very clear that that's what the bond option was intended for. Put it together, it was road preservation to try to keep some of the roads, to try to stop the red list getting longer while we take our road reconstruction money and fix some of the red roads. Because that's been the problem and probably the problem most towns have, right? You have, your, your red <coughs> list gets longer before you can get roads back to green. You just, you don't catch up. They get bad faster than you can make them good. So <coughs> the idea of the bond was try to stop that on a majority of red <coughs> Excuse just want to make that clear, I guess, so people don't think everybody that lives on a road in the condition of Bogue Road doesn't think in 2019 they're all going to be fixed. It isn't feasible. <laughs> we don't have the time to fix that many roads, and if I were to contract it all out, I'd need $20 million to have contractors do it all. So the $2.5 million is considered, is intended to do preservation techniques and then ask for 480 or 500 to do to do continue the road reconstruction because as it is now you take the 480 and I split it up with the with the gravel the calcium the glass crushing the, the overlay you know I would the love to continue yeah. reservoir on the deering that's one more move and I've we've done all of reservoir drive you know and and things like that okay. so, all right, so, so when you split 500 uh, into all those pieces you're really only giving some years you don't have any money doing your road preservation. So you fix a road brand new and then you just watch it go bad again. So so just I want to make that clear, that's what that two and a half million is for. Here and the thought is you're buying it at today's price, assuming that in ten years petroleum will be more than it is today. <coughs> okay. And that's all contracted work other than flaggers. Right. I mean my my own take on this is option one. And reason I say option one is is it's direct to the road it's not it there's no um, interest to pay over 10 years is nothing and I think I think Benji's been a very good um, you know as far as doing what he can with that money as far as preservation a good mix between preservation and complete rehab complete reconstruction now, now one is 750 right for 10 years i didn't bring that but for 10 so years the, the only worry about that is is it's such a jump i don't want road construction to fail mm -hmm. but on the other side you still need three three fifths vote required for the bond right but if that does fail i still have the 500 work on roads if the bond fails if the bond fails you're gonna have two articles yeah you'll oh. have one for five hundred thousand and then you'll have bond. one for a bond yeah. so both of them will be in there so yeah. If one fails, not wanting to throw that You're out there, because I don't want to have it. It's still the same. Right. 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 Yeah, because if it no, fails, you want to have it. Let's see if it's 750 option. You're asking for 750, and that fails, you lose all of it. Other than the yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you do the bond issue, yeah. how long is it going to take you to do the roads that, that you would use that money for, the 2.5? Probably would in a couple of years, I think. How what? Probably a couple of years. A couple of years, okay. It's about two. We spent five hundred grand in a week this year paving. No, I know. Okay. You only have so much time to spend that money when you borrow it. That's why I'm saying. Right, that. right. Where it's it's not like we did before, where. Right. Where it's all contracted <laughs> labor, you know. <coughs> right. It's easy. John. Input, thoughts. Well, I kind of agree with you. I mean, the, what scares me most about the bonds are three fifths low. That's but it's going to be two separate articles. It's going to be 500k for the for the yeah. complete reconstruction, like usual, and then right. and then the bond. I've had yeah. more people call me in support of the bond than I would have ever thought. So when I threw it up there. I I, I don't I care, but I don't. And just trying to up money to, to to get things further along here. Right. Just, Everything's always at a standstill. So whatever everybody's in favor of, I need out your guys' help to finance the public to sell it. So mm -hmm. I just am, the, the 750 scares me putting on one Warren article. That went past, that's all. Okay. The finance committee have any input in this? <laughs> you want to keep the mouth shut? 
Yeah. Board? You said a three. Yeah, I a three. Come on up. I would, uh, as a finance committee member, support the bond issue. And the reasons being that, uh, granted, you got to get the, the uh, uh, three-fifths vote, but he's, he'll have his road reconstruction, the normal, in hand because people have voted for that year after year after year and probably will again. And even if you go with the other option, you probably should divide it into two articles, one for road reconstruction and road one for rehabilitation so you don't lose the whole thing. Mm. But then you've got to have both of those articles pass every year for 10 years in order to get what you get with the bond issue. So, you know, you not only get the advantage of having uh, some upfront money to work with, but you only have to get the vote once, and if it takes a couple of years to do it, then you've got the money in hand. So that that's the argument I would use with the Finance Committee, whether anybody else there agreed with me, I don't know. We'd have to wait and see. But uh, that's where I would come from on it as a member of that committee. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Now, that's spurred a thought in my pea brain. Why can't we do two Warren articles on the 750? One for five, one for 250, and separate them out as 254, I'll call it, uh, for no better terms, maintenance or, you know, upkeep as far as preservation, and one for complete reconstruction. We can, I suppose, as long as we don't word it so that it's... It's detrimental this bag to no and that bag is solely dedicated, you know, mm. so... You may, uh, the other thing is you may end up putting so much in there that I may think you get too greedy. That's, I mean, if you do it for 500000 for your normal road maintenance, you know, real road reconstruction. Which is still an increase. Yeah, which... Mm -hmm. yeah. Can be easily justified. And oh, absolutely. And then um, you know, do the bond. And I understand that. You know, I don't want to pay the interest or anything else, uh, like anybody else. But you know, in in the explanation, and I know where they're coming from because the yellow roads are going to get turned the red roads, and then it just basically they're falling apart. So if you don't do something now to move, some of them can do a shim and overlay. Some of them can do a basic. You know, don't even have to do a full depth reclamation, just do grinding and then put something to it. Yeah, you're, you're going to be far ahead and they're going to be another 10 or 15 years and your red list is not getting any bigger. Um, and you're going to buy the product. It's like buying oil. It's like Jack said, you're buying it now at this price at 68 bucks a ton and not getting it stuck at next year or the year after. It could be Seven. at 80 Five. bucks a ton. Yeah, I mean, I've know. seen it go up as far as that. You know, it's. Uh, it went up $5 this year over the course yeah. of the summer. And uh, and I've seen it at higher than that, and it's gone down and up. But it's like um, I think that uh, you know, if you're going to get ahead of it, you know, you're going to keep having more and more bulb roads, and we're going to end up with junk, junk. Uh, and we'll, you might as well then increase this calcium and gravel budget and grind them and turn them back to, to dirt. Mm -hmm. That's about where you're going to be if they fall apart so much. That's all you're going to have is recourse till you get money to go back at them again. Mm -hmm. And I said, anybody on the fence, I, I think all states going to explain the preservation part better, unless you, know, you guys are all set on understanding that, and that's good. Okay. What's the board want to do? I think we ought to hedge our bets and do them both. Go, go with the bond and do the other one. Have two, two more articles and then one out is the, you know, the long term bond for the road, and the other one just as your basic road. Seal down option two. Option two, yeah. yeah. Sherry's up to Jam. Um, option two. John? Form a motion, please. Make a motion that uh, the, the board uh, in the CIP package for road reconstruction or road preservation, I guess for a better term, go with option two, which is a uh, bond. Um, for a $2.5 million bond uh, for 10 years. Second. All in favor? And five. Aye. Aye. What's that? And, and, five. and the 500K. And, and then 500000 for your 
um, regular road reconstruction. Okay. <laughs> That'll keep you busy. I might vote no. Which the state aid will still be right. part of that. Fund. Right. Yeah. So it'll only be. Mm -hmm. I did. I did call for a vote. It was four to four to one. Four to one. I hope everybody can make it and tell everybody you know to make it. It is informational. Does it Maybe do. I, I do. Anyway. Well, it's not it's not it. Someone told me it was. So. Yeah. I gave. I emailed it. Um, Mike put it in his. Fly I believe it. it's on. Somebody said it was on the Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. it's on the Facebook page. I've shared. I've shared it all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Frequent flyers. So we'll move up to approval minutes. Uh, Alright, so we're all set to go next I had November nineteenth <laughs> minutes done Thank last you week. You guys didn't do them, right? Oh, I can't. <laughs> That's why you're gonna make it home all right, Chief. It looks like you're starting to <coughs> <coughs> nod off. <laughs> Good night, Chief. Night, Chief. Chiefs, I should say. Chiefs, and Chiefs and Director. And, and Indians, yeah. Director. Was the help warrant? Don't apply. No, that, that was a um, watermark they had on it. I don't know where you need it. No, no, it's all over. Do you need a hand carrying something? Oh, is the box all set? Yeah. Okay. I didn't sign payroll. Did you have enough? Yeah, we had enough. enough. We had enough across all of them. The only one we didn't have, but doesn't, it's this, it's one of the ones in the orange. Oh, I didn't have, I didn't sign. That I don't know what it's all about, so. I went to the other meeting. Well, I guess if she wants to sign. Well, just, yeah, just, it says um, to be signed from Selectman's office. It's one of the orange ones. Well, we did all the, we did all the abatements and everything. <laughs> and, the, and the cuts. Yeah, it's a, it's but there's one contract. more file in there. It's, 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 it's just one page document. And it's not that one, it's the other one. There's some kind of a contract in there. And I had no idea what it was. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. the, it's the deed research for the, um, if you don't pay your taxes, yeah. she goes to the registry and does the lien research. Yeah. I mean, not the lien, the, the mortgage research. Who does? Ms. Jane <laughs> Saunders. She's ignoring you. Oh, that's you. for Sharon, right? <laughs> yeah, that's Sharon. Yeah, and I talked to her today, and the reason that... There Talk were less her. liens, right? Jane Sanders said that's just an estimate. Right. Oh. Because she doesn't know who's not going to pay their taxes, and she doesn't know how many liens they're going to have. Mm -hmm. So for us to drop it to that, that's kind of an estimate, but it's, it's not, not a minimum, is it? No, it's in it fluctuates. No. Okay. Yeah. Can we sign it? Do we have it? We don't have it back yet. I think Thank I you. signed it. Is everything got signatures? Yes. For Wendy too? Yes. <laughs> the only minute you're going to have to be able to do is the 19th because I didn't get the 26th or the 3rd out. Hey, they got them to me, but my day was challenged. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see that one. Okay. I didn't get that full one. Cost twenty one hundred last year. Right, and that says fifteen hundred and thirty or something. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I don't know why we do that. <laughs> Oh, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Jack, take it away from me. What's that? <laughs> you want to do the minutes? Yeah, we can do the minutes if you. You're recusing yourself for those? No, I'm not here. Oh, okay. oh, I didn't look this afternoon. Yeah, okay, yeah you weren't here that night anyway. Yeah, he's, the, he's going to talk to you about this. So he wasn't here for the minutes of the night. On the 19th? Okay. No. Okay, so we're doing the minutes of the night. You see on the 19th. 
was it? It was last week. Last week. Oh, last week. That's right. Okay. Anything on page one? Yeah, I did these last week. Now I can't find them. <laughs> Remember, I said to you guys, I have them done. Yeah. <laughs> if you want me to do them, now I can't, can't find them. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not in too good shape today, anyway. You're sick. You got a cold. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll do you want to proceed? You want to table them out? Table them out. Table them out. She's not feeling right. She doesn't have them all itself. Okay. She's probably got okay. them. She just got a little. All right. Well, uh, now we'll just go down to. Uh, you don't have to do manifest yet. I don't have a report because I didn't have a day. <laughs> Can I just ask one question? What's going on with the food pantry? Uh, the food pantry is going almost down. ready. Break <laughs> um, we figured it would be up and running the first of the year. We got a, we found a refrigerator, we found a freezer, two freezers and a refrigerator for free. Okay. Um, I spent the Saturday putting together shelves and putting up shelves and putting up food. Um, you're welcome to go down and take a peek at it. Um, and we're working on thanks uh, Christmas baskets. Um, the girl's been in contact with the school. She's been in contact with, um, she's working with Country Three Corners, um, the social worker at the school, the both school nurses, same thing, pulling it all together. Okay. Um, we're thinking next Friday we'll try to do the th the Christmas baskets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's almost there. It's a lot. Um, just just set the place up. You know, um, it's just a lot of food too, and you have to go through every you can to make sure it's not outdated. Okay. Now, have people been notified that it's been <coughs> on it, or we haven't given out food yet? Okay. I just didn't know. Um, people have been calling about Thanksgiving baskets, which they were on the list anyway from Thanksgiving. Christmas. 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 Yeah. yeah. So um, I had told people that we would be shooting for the first to get into um, okay. ready to go right. um, because we were uh, limited on some paperwork, so we're trying to get through that too. I mean, we were given some, but um, I'm going to have new paperwork filled out so that we have it. Because mm -hmm. there's not a lot of information on the old forms and stuff. Make that, a new form. That we, we'll just have to do a new form. Um, you know, the girl that's been working at it, um, Melissa and her family spent yesterday, the four of them, stacking shelves, stocking shelves. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday, her and I put the shelves together. We moved things around. So you got the new shelves? We got the new shelves. Took us a little while to figure out how to put them together, but they're really nice shelves. Yeah. And I invited you to get down. John went down today yeah. and looked at it. Um, you know, I think it's um, how it's been set up is very appealing. Mm -hmm. um, it looked pretty good when I went down there. I have week, pictures. And it was wood. I have pictures. Wood. You might as well just go look Walk at it down. yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go down long. before I leave here. So there's still a lot to do. There's still a lot of trash. That tomorrow, Benji will take it. You know, we broke down boxes and just mm -hmm. emptying boxes and trying to go through and put the expired stuff aside. And there's just a lot to do because um, it was tossed into boxes as best it can to get here. So. I don't know if he's coming back or not. Have we done any more closings on the tax deeded property? Or? Um, yeah, I got one that I need to actually discuss. Yeah, um, but I want to discuss non publicly, I believe, about it. Okay. You want to do the manifest then? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do the manifest. Okay, I guess we'll do the manifest. Hope I'm not giving it uh, to manifest you. Manifest for December 10th, 2018. Order the treasurer to sign the payroll and accounts payable checks dated December 13th, 2018, as included in the following manifest, payroll manifest, $57,422.86, that's for weekly payroll, and accounts payable manifest of $77,276.54 for a grand total of $134,699.40. I have a motion. Can make a motion. Second. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. There we go. <coughs> So I don't have anything, like I said, um, I just didn't get a chance to, other than we just have both look at Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have any correspondence, but I just would, if we could do one in non-public. Under C? C. Yep. Yeah. We did everything else. That's fine. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, right down at the bottom. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I did get a little bit of correspondence. I don't know if the rest of the board, I know you did, you were covered on it from FEMA. But I guess I got it way long time ago. The, the, the letter? Yeah, for the Kentucky everybody, watershed. Yeah, everybody in every yeah. department, they all threw in my mailbox. So. All right, yeah. I just got. I just opened it up tonight and went, ooh. So that's. Yeah, it, was, it was a mass mailer from a, yeah. a vendor. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> so that was all. Uh, there was a little correspondence between me and Sherry. Uh, I, I, well, did you well, email him back? Because he's still sending it to S. Burdick at where. I, I know. Shut I, up. I asked him to forward okay. that to directly to Ben. Uh, uh, okay. Back. He did. He ended up doing that. I, I um, asked him. But we we had some correspondence. Sherry and I did with a uh, the re a resident down on Riverdale okay. um, regarding road conditions and just an update overall update because um, they were here asking about it. Um, I think I, I, I replied to him with a nice lengthy email um, touching upon the questions that he had um, and um, then uh, apparently the DPW was down there I think today or yesterday um, putting um, the mirror up. Okay. They put they installed the, the blind spot mirror um, for coming out of Depot Street and uh, they did some road patching so he was thankful for that. So, and um, some of the other things you couldn't, you can't control. Right. Um, there has been a heavier. It didn't get voted to Sean. Yep. And there's and been, 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 been a heavier police well, presence they've been down there. Out there quite yeah. A bit of the time. Yep. They've been, there's been a heavier police presence down there, yeah. Yeah. as far as monitoring the stop sign and speeding and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah. and he was happy with that too. So, um, not total, not total, um, you know, uh, resolution, but uh, movement towards the right direction. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and he was pleased. That was the only correspondence I had. Mm. Anything else? And I did forward that yeah. to Naomi because of the police thing. Okay. I just yep. Yeah. And yeah, no, I gave it to Sean and he's okay. on it. So. Okay, cool. Anything else? No. We'll be going non public under RSA 91A3 okay. Roman numeral 2C. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We'll be adjourning after our non public. Have a wonderful night, everybody.